after a walk-off winner last night, we're back at the ballpark a little later than scheduled for game two of this important four-game series for Ohio baseball against Toledo. Mason Minzy walked it off last night by playing tag with the scoreboard to paint it green and white, and Ohio won at 6-5. So, so much went into the win, but that's baseball, and so much would have to go into a 10-inning walk-off winner anyway. And so much will have to go into keeping the momentum rolling today and guaranteeing a split, at least in the series. That would mean so much, too. It's 12 and 12 and 6 and 7 Ohio University and the 13 and 15 and 7 and 9 University of Toledo Rockets. And on a cloudy, cool, but at least dry for the moment, Saturday evening in Southeast Ohio from Bob Wren Stadium, it's time for Bobcat Baseball. Hi, everybody. I'm Ross Eisenstein. Jordan Bowes is our web stream producer director we have a matchup of right-handers today Ohio goes with Hudson Bunkle he's 6'3 205 a freshman from Corona California Bunkle 794 ERA but pitched well on the mid-Michigan Mount in an 8-3 loss to Central Michigan last weekend Connor Brandon will kick and toss for the Rockets he's 6'3 210 sophomore from Heprin Ohio this is his eighth start he's 3-3 three three with a 4-5-0 ERA. Coming up, we'll give you the lineups and start off the ball game. But how about last night and how it all went down? We pick up the rewind in the seventh inning. After the stretch, Ohio was down 3-1, and the Cats came back. Very nice participation in the seventh inning stretch. Singing of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Game one of this four-game series. Friday night, baseball in Athens. Ohio down 3-1 to Toledo. Finney to third. Richardson on. It's up to Nick Dolan. Two-on pitch coming. Fly ball, left center field. Hit a ton. Way back there. Back to the warning track and off the wall. This ties the game. Rounding third and coming in to score is Michael Richardson. It is a two-RBI double to left by Nick Dolan. We're all square at three. Go-ahead runner, 180 feet away. Isaiah Peterson at the plate smashes this. The first off the glove of Struther and into right. Rounding third and coming in to score without a play is Dolan. 4-3 Cats. On a three-run bottom of the seventh inning. Can Casper Bauer bring in two? Can't. It's a wild one. Back to the backstop, and it's 5-3 Ohio. Scoring from third is Isaiah Peterson. Up to third, A.J. Roush. It's a walk to put Casper Bauer on. 0 oh, 2 the count on Pike. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two gone. Bang. Big strikeout for Chase Harris. It comes down to Mason Sykes, their third baseman. Runner at first, two gone. Here it is for Sykes. Fly ball, center field. It's hit deep. Uh oh. Back to the warning track to the wall. Gone. Tie game. Mason Sykes socks it just to the left of the batter's eye in center, and we're all square at five. Down to the final out, the Rockets launch a homer out of here. Mm. Extra inning baseball tied at five, Ohio and Toledo. The Rockets' cleanup hitter is Garrett Pike. Ohio's reliever is Braxton Kelly. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. That was belt high, potentially outside. And the left-handed hitter couldn't corral it. So the Rockets leave the sacks packed. We go to the bottom of the 10th. We're tied at five. Bottom of the 10th is on. Mason Minzy to lead it off for the green and white. 1-0 pitch. Fly ball left center field and deep. Way back. This ball has a chance. It's gone. And the Bobcats paint this one green and white on a walk-off. Homer off the scoreboard for Mason Minzy. 6-5 Cats. An opposite field jack and his ball club is all jacked up. Hopping around at the plate as he tossed the helmet away. Mason Minzy with his sixth home run of the season. Game day at the Red and game two. It's Ohio and Toledo. Time to visit with head coach Craig Moore. All right, uh, the, the ability to get it done late. Uh, and Mason Minzy, we talked prior to taping this, the percentage of his extra base hits, 16 of his 24 hits as a catcher are extra base hits. Why is he such an extra base machine for you? You know, Mason's a big, strong, physical kid, you know, and it doesn't take, you know, much to 
to have you know him put a ball in a gap or obviously hit a ball over the fence like he did last night, you know. So I think that's a, a tribute to, to just his baseball skill set in terms of um, physicality, you know. Um, and he works, he works hard. He's always in the cages before practice, after practice. Um, and, you know, some of the training devices that we utilize for player development, you know, has a lot to do with exit velocity off the bat and, and kind of, you know, ball flight and, and distance. And we pay attention to that stuff and we give that information to the players. And I think they feed off of it in terms of using it as, as a training tool for them. Is that, does that catch your eye or ear to that percentage of hits that are extra base hits? Yeah. I mean, you know, typically you, you, you think about, you know, probably on average, I would say, you know, a good offensive player, middle of the order type player, guy that you're expecting extra base hits from, you know, they're probably more in about the 30, 35% range, you know, not quite as high as, as you said, it was 67%, but, um, you know, hopefully that doesn't, uh, that doesn't change. Hopefully that percentage holds true here over the course of the next six weeks. You, you got the walk-off winner last night. And, and to say fast starts, you say that in a lot of sports, right? Baseball is a little different because how can you really generate a fast start necessarily in baseball? But it's important today, obviously, is to carry over the momentum. So how do you as a head coach try to facilitate that type of stuff with your ball club to say, hey, we got to start fast today? Yeah, we talked about it last night after the game, you know, about, you know, being the aggressor early on, you know. And then once, <clears throat> you know, you... you you kind of get that momentum going, as you mentioned. You know, you hang on to that momentum by, you know, making a big pitch like Braxton did last night to, yeah. to get out of that bases loaded jam. You know, making a big defensive play. You know, then obviously, offensive. You know, uh, you know, getting you know big hits with runners in scoring position. That's what creates energy and momentum in dugouts is scoring. You know, and so uh, we talked about just you know being the aggressor, and once we you know can get in a position to be up and whatnot, to just keep on going at it and don't give up. Good luck. Thanks, Russ. Appreciate it. That's it, Coach Craig Moore. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Baseball next. Ohio and Toledo from the Wren. This is Bobcat Baseball. You got your go-tos, your standbys, even your favorites. But the beefy, cheesy burgers at McDonald's take you back to where it all began. Your bite zero when you first tasted what a burger should be like. Two perfectly seasoned beef patties stacked with a single slice of melty cheese on a golden bun. Now at McDonald's, get two McDouble burgers for $3. Whatever it is to you, classics are classics for a reason. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. At People's Bank, our vision is to be the best community bank in America. We focus on building relationships with our clients and offering cutting edge financial products. People's Bank is proud to support the local communities in which we work and live. This is Ashley Brown, People's Bank Vice President and Regional Manager, and we would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The road to a championship is built on years of practice and hard work. That's true in basketball and the construction industry. The apprenticeship and upgrade training programs provided by the Athens Area Union Building Trades produces the workforce with the most modern skills and cutting edge knowledge in the industry. The key to success to the Bobcats on the floor is the same as your choice on the work site. The winning move is working with members of the Athens Area Union Building Trades, proud sponsor of Ohio University Basketball. Plan your next visit to stand up and cheer for your Ohio Bobcats in Athens County, Ohio. Visit AthensOhio.com, the best resource for where to eat, where to stay, where to shop, and where to play. Athens County is home to countless trails and outdoor activities. Enjoy mountain biking, kayaking, rock climbing, and hiking. Find your own adventure. Cruise the Hawk Hawking Adena Bikeway. Mountain bike the Bailey's Trail System. Hike trails less traveled at Stroud's Run State Park. Or ride nine thrilling motorcycle routes on Ohio's Windy Nine. We can't wait to see you in Athens County, Ohio. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagos. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri.
Together is a wonderful place to be. That's why CareSource is devoted to keeping you and your family healthy and happy. We promise you not only reliable health care, but also a helping hand with whatever your family needs to succeed. It's why more moms in Ohio choose CareSource for Medicaid than all other plans combined. Things only get better when we work together. And together, there's nothing we can't do. We are one. Learn more at CareSource.com. Voice of the Bobcats, Russ Eisenstein, on behalf of David White Services, the largest heating and cooling dealer in Southeast Ohio. They've been the choice of thousands for over 45 years. Offering the most efficient Lennox heat pumps, air conditioners, and furnaces, David White Services can save you money on your heating and cooling bills. Thanks, Russ. I'm David White. And I'm Esther White Thomas, inviting you to call us today to schedule a free estimate for heating and cooling or a new gas fireplace. David White Services is a proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat Athletics. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer hip. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagos. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer and Bud Light Seltzer. IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, people, we all know what's at stake in this game. Zoe, what's at stake? Our futures. Our futures. And is anything going to keep us from achieving our goal? No way. Because what do we have? The plan. Ohio's 529 plan. Because in this family, how do we play the college savings game? Tax-free. And where do we play it? Um, I don't know, Daddy. That's okay, Pumpkin. Want to win at college savings? Go to collegeadvantage.com slash bobcats. Together is a wonderful place to be. That's why CareSource is devoted to keeping you and your family healthy and happy. We promise you not only reliable health care, but also a helping hand with whatever your family needs to succeed. It's why more moms in Ohio choose CareSource for Medicaid than all other plans combined. Things only get better when we work together. And together, there's nothing we can't do. We are one. Learn more at CareSource.com. Hi, this is Jared Dean with Dean Heating and Cooling. As your local Tempstar dealer, you can experience superior home comfort with Tempstar game-changing technology. Whether you need a fall tune-up or a midwinter repair call, our expert technicians will make sure your heating system is running at peak performance. Count on Dean Heating and Cooling and Tempstar to keep you cozy all winter long. Find us online at deanheatingandcooling.com and go Cats! Bobcat Baseball is presented by McDonald's, People's Bank, Union Street Diner, GoMart, Steak and Shake, Integrated Services, Q Doba, Q White, and CareSource. If you're ready, here are today's starting lineups. First for the visitors from Toledo, the Rockets, who last night lost 6-5. Jaron Williams leads it off, plays it short. Hitting second center fielder, Scott Makowitz. Hitting third, right fielder John Cervello. New average at 323. Garrett Pike is the DH cleanup. Mason Sykes hits fifth. He's at first. Darren Davis is the third baseman, hitting sixth. In the seven hole, catcher Trey Wright. In the eight spot, left fielder Caden Konzak. And rounding out the lineup, playing at second base, Brian Fry. On the mound, Connor Brandon. Brandon, 6'3, 210, sophomore from Hebron, Ohio. Eight start of the year, three and three with a 4.50 ERA. Now for Craig Moore and the Ohio Bobcats leading off playing in center field, Isaiah Peterson. Two hole right fielder, A.J. Roush. Hitting third, Colin Casper Bauer. He plays at third. Cleanup, last night's hero, catcher Mason Minzy. In the five spot, left fielder, Spencer Harbert. Hitting sixth, the DH, Alex Finney. Hitting seventh, first baseman, Kale Baker. In the eighth spot, second baseman Michael Richardson. And rounding out the lineup, had a good night last night, Nick Dolan. He is at shortstop. Hudson Bonko on the mound for the Bobcats, 6'3", 205, freshman from Corona, California. Bonko went four and a third last weekend at Central Michigan, pitched very well. This is his second start, seventh appearance. He has a 7'9'4 
ERA. But ready to go. First pitch coming at 5.04. Game time temperature 42 degrees. Feels like 36. And this is flared foul. First base side out of play. And we are off to the races for game two of the series. Ohio and Toledo. Williams won for six last night. A 3.09 hitter with a home run and 12 runs batted in. And the pitch. Line drive center field in for a base hit. That's a good start for the Rockets after losing last night in walk-off fashion in 10-6-5. Williams with the single. Here's Scott Makowitz, a 240 hitter. Four homers, 12 runs batted in. Makowitz last night went one for three. He was down to the lineup a little bit, up to the two spot today. He walked and struck out. So uh, one batter and uh, one hit. Now comes the double play. Throw over to first, back in time. The Rockets will run. This is the uh, runniest team in the league. They have uh, certainly had more attempts than anybody else. They're second in the league in stolen bases. Fastball strike. Hit the outside corner to the left-handed hitter, Makowitz. It is 0-1. Rockets are in the bright yellow tops. Midnight blue numerals. Cats are in the green tops. White pants. White pants for the Rockets. So green on gold today. Throw to first. Chases the runner back. And with the amount of running that the Rockets do, we might see a lot of throws over. But last night, I think we set the MAC record when Spencer Harbert was on base and the Rockets threw over about 20 times. Throw to first. Chases the runner back. Outfield for the Cats, Harbert in left, Peterson in center, Roush in right. There's a track meet going on right now. That's not a, a somebody shooting at somebody for no reason. That's a starter's pistol that you might have heard in the background. Next one popped up, foul ground, third base side. Easy play, Casper Bauer with the sunglasses on. It kind of came back to the field, but he had to lean back and make the catch. And there's out number one. Back to first goes Jaron Williams. Here's John Cervello. He is their best hitter, 323 hitter, three homers and 14 runs batted in. Right-handed hitting, right fielder. Lights are on at the ballpark. It poured about 10 minutes ago, but it is Southeast Ohio in early April, so about 10 minutes later, it looks pretty nice, although chilly. Throw to first, chases the runner back. This originally was going to be a doubleheader starting at three. Then, well, I guess originally it was supposed to be a doubleheader earlier than that. First pitch misses upstairs, I guess. It's 1-0. and oh. Bryce McCalla, I think, is the home plate umpire. Scott Inman and Mark Hanewald are the other two. Don't have a notation from the uh, notes on where each individual is. Throw to first, chases Williams back. Anyway, it was supposed to be a doubleheader at uh, three, single game at five now, and then tomorrow will be a double dip at one, seven and a nine inning contest. Cervello pushed off the plate inside. It is two and oh. Lights on to the ballpark, but you see some of the powder blue skies overhead. Tomorrow's Temperature high will be 60. It will feel like 80 by comparison. 2-0 pitch coming. Missed inside. They're really trying to bust him inside. It's 3-0. You had to imagine the Rockets had to stew about getting walked off last night at the hotel, getting to the ballpark today. The single for Williams. Pop out Makowitz, and here's Cervello. He takes a strike. It's 3-1. It was three-run Toledo after one. And then nothing until the Bobcats took a 5-3 lead. Rockets were down to their final out. Throw to first, they got him. Williams was leaning. And it took a while, but Ohio was able to cut down the runner. Picked off. Who says pickoffs don't work? So Williams out, two gone, three and one the count on Cervello. That missed high, ball four. 
So it's a two-out base runner for Garrett Pike, who hits 283 with three homers and nine runs batted in. Pike yesterday went one for five, walked and struck out four times. Toledo batters struck out 13 times. He, Sykes, and Davis struck out three or more times. Left-handed batter, and he shoots his foul. Watch out on the track. It is 0-1. Pike, their DH, wears 19 in midnight blue on the back of that gold uniform top. Rockets are 13 and 15, 7 and 9 in the league. This one's up and away from Hudson Bonkle. It is 1 and 1. He out of Corona, California, where I'm sure it's not in the 40s and it feels like 30 today. 1 1. Tried the outside corner and missed. 2 and 1. But players come from all over the place and. Uh, he pitched in the snow in Mount Pleasant last weekend, which was less than pleasant. 2-1, swing and a miss. Letter high fastball he couldn't catch up to. 2-2 two two the count. Bonkel last weekend, four and a third. Five hits, two runs all earned. Walked two, struck out five. It was the 8-3 game two loss. Central had a five-run fifth. 2-2, hit on the ground to short, to his right, Dolan sucks it up, throws to first high, but there's Cale Baker, reached up and made the play. Inning done, no runs, a hit, no errors, man left. First inning supported by McDonald's, four area locations in Southeast Ohio, two in Athens, one in Nelsonville, one in the Plains. Nothing for the Rockets, Cats coming up. This is Bobcat Baseball. Jumpstart your day at the Fairfield Inn and Suites in Athens. Enjoy complimentary hot breakfast, then unwind on our beautiful outdoor patio, which includes a gas fire pit and barbecue grill. Conveniently located on East State Street, just a short drive from the Ohio University campus and uptown Athens, the Fairfield Inn and Suites is situated near many shopping and dining venues. At the Fairfield Inn and Suites, you're our number one priority. Call 740-589-5839 to book your next visit to Athens or find us online at fairfieldinn.com. If you're traveling to a game, a weekend road trip, or just around town, you need to stop at GoMart. You'll find a GoMart open 24 hours a day right off the interstate or right off Main Street in your local community. You can refuel your ride with quality gasoline and also yourself with popular snacks, drinks, and more. We're making it easy to keep up with your busy schedule by keeping you on the go. GoMart is the proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat football. Go for good times. Bottom of the first is on. Connor Brandon, the starter for Toledo. His eighth start, 3-3 three and three with a 4-5-0 ERA. 30 innings of work, 31 hits, 22 runs, 15 earned. Struck out 40 and has walked 17. All of these Rocket starters have outstanding strikeout-to-walk ratios. Ohio was down 3-0 after the top of the first last night. Scoreless as we go to the bottom of the first. Today, Isaiah Peterson leads it off. Pete yesterday went two for five. Brought in a run, scored a run, struck out twice. Left-handed batter's average at 378. Three homers and 19 runs batted in. Starts it off here against Connor Brandon. And the first one misses inside, tight inside. It's 1-0. Konzak, Makowitz, Cervello on the outfield left to right. Straight up and deep. Infield, Davis, Williams, Fry, Sykes left to right. Battery of right and Connor Brandon. This is popped up foul. Third base side out of play. Lost in last night's effort was how Eddie Cutt responded from giving up three runs in the first inning. He gave his ball club a chance. Kept battling through to set it up for the bullpen. 1-1. One, one, missed inside. That was pretty good, but called a ball. It's two and one. But Eddie kept it at three one. 
and then Ohio took the 5-3 lead. Down to their final out, the Rockets hit the homer. And that was Mason Sykes last night. That was just to the left of the batter's eye and straightaway center. 3-1 the count on Isaiah Peterson. Outside, ball four, leadoff walk. Here's A.J. Roush. Ohio's right fielder hits 329. Four homers and 22 runs batted in. A.J. one for five last night, struck out three times. Ohio struck out 12, or struck out 12 times. Right-handed hitter. Slightly open stance, raises and lowers that left foot as he gets ready, and there's a strike, it's 0-1. Dimensions here at the Ren aren't on the walls anymore, but it's 340 to, uh, down the lines, around 380 to the alleys, 405 to straightaway center field. 0-1 hit on the ground, it's fair, up the line at third and in the left. Hot footing it around second and cruising into third is Peterson. It's a stand-up double for A.J. Roush. Runners on second and third here with nobody out in the bottom of the first. That's double number 48 for the ball club. Roush with his seventh. So 11 of his 28 hits have been extra base variety. So a walk, a double, and here's Colin Kasperbauer. Last night, Kasperbauer went 0 for 3, two walks and a strikeout. Updated average under 400 now at 392. Left-handed bat swings through a breaking ball. It is 0 and 1. Mason Minzy, last night's hero, is on deck. Second and third, nobody gone, bottom of the first. Ohio trying to jump out first here. 0 1, good pitch, change up strike. It is 0 2. Infield in at third at what would be the cut of the grass, maybe even with the bag there. On at third is Peterson, second is Roush. 0 2 to Colin Kasperbauer. Swing and a foul tip, held on to by Wright. That's a big strikeout for Connor Brandon. His first of the ball game is 41st this year. And here's Mason Minzy. Minzy, in addition to the homer last night, also doubled. Two for five last night with a run scored, brought in two. And he has 24 hits this year. 16 are extra base varieties. That's 67% of his hits are extra base hits. Change up strike. It's 0-1 to start him off. Left-handed hitting catcher. I mean, that's an insane percentage of extra base hits compared to your overall hits. And what's even greater still is he's a catcher. 0-1 pitch, shot foul, third base side out of play. 0-2 the count with one gone, bottom of the first, scoreless game, Ohio and Toledo. I mean, Minzy at, at some point or another is going to have to take a, a day off. He's a catcher. This is his 24th start. 0-2 the count, one gone. Two in scoring position for him. And this is shot to center field, deep, but it will stay in the ballpark. Makowitz back, makes the catch, tagging at third, coming in to score, Isaiah Peterson. Ohio on top one, nothing. Two-third on the play is A.J. Roush. So his third RBI of the series, not an extra base hit, but it didn't necessarily have to be there on a fly out to center. Ohio on top one, nothing. Two gone, bottom of the first. Here's Spencer Harbert. Harbert hits 213, six homers, 17 runs batted in. Wears four, has two white batting gloves, and the pitch. Big swing and a miss. It's 0 1. 
you'd like to have more than one run with two in scoring position and nobody out. The run expectancy with that setup is higher than one, but you'll take the one and uh, give Hudson Bonkel that lead going out for the second. The next one from Connor Brandon sweeps outside. He throws hard. It is two and one. Two gone on at third is A.J. Roush. Peterson scored on that sack fly. 2-1, missed low and in. 3-1 the count. Connor Brandon brings it home on 3-1. Fly ball hit a ton to left, and this baby is way out of here. A Bobcat blast for Spencer Harbert. The setup was more, the setup was for more than just one run, and more than just one run, Ohio receives. Spencer Harbert makes it a 3-0 game. His seventh homer of the year, RBIs 18 and 19, and that thing was gone. Over the screen, over the wall in left. 3-0 Cats. Here's Alex Finney. A 3-11 hitter, no homers, 13 runs batted in, Ohio's DH. So the walk for Peterson, double Rouse, strikeout Casper Bauer, fly out Minzy that brought in the run, and then the Harvard homer. Finney was trying to drive that to Court Street, came up empty, it's 0-1. A 3-0 cat lead here in the first. Toledo led 3-0 after their first offensive inning. Last night, bouncing ball up the middle to the shortstop side of the bag. It's second. Fry throws late to first. Fry was way over there to, to pick it up. An infield hit. Here's Kale Baker. Inning continues, two gone, runner at first. Baker, a 164 hitter, that's 11 for 67. No homers and four runs batted in. Two gone, runner at first, three nothing Ohio with the lead. Baker, close to the plate on the right hand side. And the pitch, missed inside, it's one and zero. Oh. Baker last night had a good offensive night. He played a good first base, too. Two for three with the strikeout. The Ole Miss transfer trying to make it an even bigger inning in the pitch. That sweeps low and outside. 2-0 the count. So combined, that's three homers in the series now. One to the left of the batter's eye for Toledo. One off the scoreboard and one dented a windshield of a car in the parking lot. An appeal on a, if Baker swung and you heard the crowd's reaction, they didn't agree. Two and one the count. Two gone in the first, three nothing Ohio. Baker waits, Brandon brings it home. There's a strike. Two and two. Two and two with two gone. Bottom of the first, three nothing Ohio. Runner at first in the pitch. Swing and a miss. That slider swept low and outside. Baker down on strike. Second strikeout for Connor Brandon in the first inning, but the Bobcats. Get a two-run homer from Spencer Harbert and a sack fly from Mason Minzy. 3-0 Ohio. We go to the second. Bobcat baseball is supported by McDonald's. All the balloons. This is Bobcat baseball.
Bobcat fans, the Hugh White family of dealerships is your hometown Athens dealer. And to show our commitment to the community, we're offering free car washes for Ohio University students and faculty, as well as college grad discounts with all of our new brands. But that's not all. We provide free concierge service for faculty. We'll pick up your vehicle and drop it back off after service. Take advantage of our leases and under $200 per month. Come visit us on North Columbus Road, less than five minutes from campus or online at visithughwhite.com. And remember, if the deal is right, it must be Hugh White. If you're traveling to a game, a weekend road trip, or just around town, you need to stop at GoMart. You'll find a GoMart open 24 hours a day right off the interstate or right off Main Street in your local community. You can refuel your ride with quality gasoline and also yourself with popular snacks, drinks, and more. We're making it easy to keep up with your busy schedule by keeping you on the go. GoMart is the proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat football. Go for good times. Ninety-nine balloons, three nothing Ohio lead. Second inning of Bobcat baseball, supported by People's Bank, working together, building success. Mason Sykes will lead it off. He's the one that tied the game at five with his homer in the ninth inning, down to their final out last night. Three oh five hitter, seven homers now, twenty-six runs batted in. Tall right-handed hitter takes one up and away from Hudson Bunkel. It's one to zero. Sykes last night, in addition to the homer, three ribbies. Struck out three times, went two for five. Takes a belt high fastball for a strike. Count level at a ball and a strike here as we start off the second. Three nothing Ohio with the lead. Two run tater for Spencer Harbert. One one. Fly ball, flared foul, first base side out of play. Always good to get a little Havan Aguila in there in the second inning. And the pitch. Upstairs, popped out of the mitt, but caught with the bare hand. Mason Minzy. Two and two the count. Here it is from Hudson Bonkel. Swing and a miss, strike three. Climb the ladder with the fastball. Sykes strikes out. That's how we start off the second inning. First strikeout for Bonkel. Ooh, free chips and salsa. Darren Davis is the batter now. Third baseman, left-handed hitter. 224 hitter, four homers, 15 runs batted in. Davis was in the two-hole last night and hit two for six, brought in a run, struck out three times. 1-0 and is the count to him. Pitch from Bunkel. Line drive, center field. Peterson comes in, breaks back, reaches up. It clangs off his glove, and it will roll to the wall. Davis will hit a second, try for a third. Throw to third is there just a bit late. Trickles away, but no advancement. It is a triple for Darren Davis. It did go off the glove, but there's no way possible you could give somebody an error on that type of a play. Went back, went off his glove. With a good effort from Peterson, the only miscue was the fact that he took a step in to start and then broke back. That's a tough one to read. It was not all that high. They gave him an air on that. All right. So here's Trey Wright. Pitch misses outside. It's 1-0. So Davis on, which I guess is a three-base air, huh? All right. Right. Has a 2-0 count on him. One gone, runner at third. Well, that's a, a tougher play for a center fielder. Center fielders will tell you that that low-hanging line drive is a tough one to read. Pitch misses high. 3-0 is the count on Trey Wright. Their catcher went one for five last night. In any event, it's a runner at third with one gone. 
Hudson Bonkel brings it home. It's a strike. That ball was hit pretty hard by Davis. Runner at third, one gone to the pitch. Upstairs, ball four. Trey Wright walks. Runners on the corners here for Caden Konzak, who is making his uh, sixth start. He's a 176 hitter with a homer and two runs batted in. Konzak last night went three for five. He's up a spot from ninth to eighth in their lineup. Bobcats would love to turn their 18th double play right here and get out of the inning. And the pitch from Bunkel. Low. 1-0 to start him off. We'll check max scores as we go along. We'll check major league scores as we go along. We'll check whatever as we go along today. Cubs lead the Brewers 9-0. Pitch misses outside. Time called out to the mound, Mason Minzy. Runners on the corners and one away here in the second. Ohio on top, 3 0. That's the amazing thing about baseball, right? Brandon Woodruff started that game for Milwaukee, and the Cubs scored three runs without a hit in the first inning. There was a hit in the frame, but it didn't bring in a run. One of the best starters in Major League Baseball. And it appears the Cubs are going to go 2-0 and on the year. Reds and Braves later on. Guardians and Royals in the sixth in KC scoreless game. After the meeting, pitch misses high from Bonkel to Caden Konzak. It's 3-0. and it is a little different to see Guardians as opposed to Indians when you take a look at the score. Fastball strike, it's 3-1. and one. Royals won in the opener. Zach Plezak still in the game for Cleveland in the bottom of the sixth. 3-1, this has popped up foul, third base side out of play. Two finals in the books already in the bigs. The, the Rays are 2-0. and They won 5-3 over the Orioles. Mariners are 2-0. and They won it with two in the ninth, and they topped the Twins 4-3. A lot of people expecting big things out of the Mariners this year. 3-2 and two the count, one gone. Runners on the corners and a throw to first with the runner at third. Back in time is Trey Wright. White Sox lead the Tigers 5-2, and that's actually just gone final. This is smoked to first, caught on the ground by Baker, lost the ball on the exchange as he went to the bag, and a run comes in to score. It is 3-1. That was smoked right on the line. Baker right at the bag. He was holding the runner on, and that's the only reason why he was able to make that play. If Baker's not holding the runner on, he has no chance at that, and that's rolling down the line. Taking second on the play is right. Davis scores. Konzak out. It's 3-1 in the second with two gone here. Here's Brian Fry, their second baseman. All about positioning. If he's not holding the runner on, then he doesn't make that play. That is rolling down the line, and it might have cleared the bases. And that's an athletic play, too, to get down there to make that play and tap on the sack with the glove. Fry takes a strike at his 0-1, left-handed hitting second baseman. That's a tough luck ground out for Caden Konzak. The pitch to Fry bounces in, goes up into the air. It goes to the backstop. They're going to try it here with Wright. The throw to the plate is late. The wild one bounced up way in the air and, and went to the screen. Minzy had to go back 
covering the plate was Bunkel, but that's a, a two-base wild pitch, and it's a 3-2 game now. That hopped in, seemed to hit off the plate, skipped up maybe about 10 feet in the air, back to the backstop. And Wright able to score, it's 3-2. Two and one the count now on Fry. So you saw a three base air in the inning, and you just saw a two base wild pitch up and in on the next one to Fry. Three and one the count. Two gone in the second. It's three two. That's upstairs with ball four. Back topside now to Jaron Williams. <laughs> Meeting on the mound, Tim Brown, Ohio's pitching coach out there to uh, try to settle Hudson Bonkel down. This is two runs without a hit. The three base air, two walks, and a wild pitch. It's 3-2, and we're just in the second. Williams singled in the first and was picked off. Lengthy meeting on the mound. Umpire out to break it up. Williams, their shortstop, right-handed hitter. So two hits in the series to this point. His second at-bat is in the second inning. Two gone, runner at first, 3-2 Ohio leads in the pitch. That hangs high. It is 1-0. It is a bit of a tight zone, and... It might behoove everybody involved for it to expand a little bit. And the pitch. That's called a strike. There you go. Outside edge. One and one. Now, there were two pitches there, and uh, one a ball, one a strike, but the strike was called a ball, and the ball was called a strike. One one pitch from Bunkel. Bouncing ball over the mound, headed towards short, guides Dolan to the bag for the force out. Inning done. Two runs, no hits, an error, one left. We've played one and a half. Presented by People's Bank, working together, building success, 3-2 Ohio at the Wren. This is Bobcat Baseball. At People's Bank, our vision is to be the best community bank in America. We focus on building relationships with our clients and offering cutting edge financial products. People's Bank is proud to support the local communities in which we work and live. This is Ashley Brown, People's Bank Vice President and Regional Manager, and we would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Bobcat fans, the Hugh White Family of Dealerships is your hometown Athens dealer. And to show our commitment to the community, we're offering free car washes for Ohio University students and faculty, as well as college grad discounts with all of our new brands. But that's not all. We provide free concierge service for faculty. We'll pick up your vehicle and drop it back off after service. Take advantage of our leases in under $200 per month. Come visit us on North Columbus Road, less than five minutes from campus or online at visithughwhite.com. And remember, if the deal is right, it must be Hugh White. Bottom of the second is on. Michael Richardson to lead it off against Connor Brandon for the Rockets. 3-2 Ohio. Rockets just scored two runs without a hit. Richardson bats. It is 8-9-1 here for Ohio to start it off. And the first one's called a strike. It is 0-1. 
Richardson, a 234 hitter with a homer and three runs batted in. Richardson last night, 0 for 4, but scored a run. 1 and 1 the count. The next one from Connor Brandon. Bouncing ball headed towards center field. It's cut off by the shortstop who throws to first and never actually got it off. So on is Richardson. He just kind of skidded back there after he fielded the ball. And that's the field turf area out there. That's not grass out there. So Williams wasn't able to get that throw off. It's a base hit for Richardson. Here's Nick Dolan. Dolan, redshirt freshman. So he had to be told about the fun of Saturday Night Fever. Pitch misses up and in. It's 1-0. He squared to bunt, pulled it back. Dolan last night had a good night. Double that brought in two, went one for four. Runner at first, nobody gone. Bottom of the second, 3-2 Ohio with the lead and a soft toss over to first, chases the runner back. From the stretch, it's Brandon, right-handed hitter Dolan scoring to bunt and the pitch. That's up and in, throw down to first. Ooh, a good throw would have got him but it was thrown towards the runner, and so the first baseman Sykes had to reach. It's 2-0. In the MAC last night, the final game that we didn't tell you about was Oregon beating Ball State 13-7. Ducks led the whole way. Bunt put down, up towards first. Good bunt, Sykes there. And he started to run at him and now runs to the bag for the out. Up to second goes Richardson. One gone. Runner at second. Dolan out on the sacrifice. Here's Isaiah Peterson. So there was a situation last year Major League Baseball Cubs were playing the Pirates and uh, similar play to that resulted in a hit and resulted in a run. First one misses inside to Isaiah Peterson. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, there was a, a bunt put down. First baseman for the Pirates ran at the runner and then basically got turned around, turned into a base hit, and the Cubs got a run out of it. And so the lesson is always just go to the bag. Pitch misses low and outside, 2-0 on Pete, who walked and scored in the first inning. Finals today in the MAC. Central Michigan run rules Northern Illinois 11-0 that final. The Chips have fired up uh, something good at the top of the MAC. Next one, belt high strike. 2-1 the count. Bowling Green beat Kent State again. 6-4 the final. Wow. That's two in a row for BG against Kent State. That's five in a row for the Falcons now. Runner at second, one gone here in the pitch. Line drive, right center field. Hit pretty well towards the gap. Cervello can't make the play. Will two hop the wall. Brings in a run. Hitting second and trying for three as Isaiah Peterson throw is way up high. And he slides in head first with an RBI triple. Ohio leads it 4-2. Isaiah Peterson to the right center field gap. Richardson scored no problem from second. The triple is one of the most exciting plays in baseball. And that throw had no chance, even if it was on target. It was high. And here's A.J. Roush. RBI number 20 of the year for Pete. That's triple number four for the ball club. And that is Isaiah Peterson's second triple this year. 
Roush with the infield in and the runner at third. Slider sweeps low and outside from Connor Brandon. It's 1-0. You say when, when hitters recognize an extra base hit out of the box, I, I wonder if Isaiah thought that that was a triple all the way. Pop-up foul, back of home, and out of play. Well, that was towards the door out there in right center field. Cervello, I don't know if he read it all that well, but he knew it was hit hard. And then uh, Isaiah Peterson was just flying. Next one misses Lubin outside. Two and one the count. Ohio up 4-2, we're in the second. Will four runs win this game today? The pitch. That hung high and then dropped down inside. And he had to duck out of the way of that and ran away, did A.J. Roush. Three and one the count. Infield in all the way around. Runner at third for Roush, who doubled in the first. Hits here now in the second, and the pitch. Fouled back to the screen, three and two. The Vultures are circling. It's uh, feeding time for them, apparently. About five of them. They are uh, above and to the right of the ballpark. 3-2, called, strike three. That's a good pitch. Inside with some funky movement on it. That's a backwards K for Connor Brandon. That is his third strikeout today. And here's Colin Kasperbauer. Two gone, runner at third, Ohio on top 4-2. You'd love to drive in Peterson here after that triple. Infield settles back to regular depth. Left-handed hitting Casper Bauer takes one outside. It's 1-0. The Vultures have left for the moment. They're now circling the convo. Those birds are ugly and angry. If you ever see them close up, there is a strike. One to one the count. Runner at third is Peterson. Casper Bauer would love his 19th ribby. Won't get it here. It's a bouncing ball foul. Craig Moore in the third base coach's box gave up on the grounder. One and two the count. Connor Brandon's a strike away from getting out of it with giving up just one run. Casper Bauer backs out. Four to Ohio. It's the second nine inning ball game. Brandon from the stretch exhales in the pitch. Casper Bauer takes. Oof. Low, apparently. Two and two the count. Wind blowing out to right. And the pitch. Fouled back to the screen. <laughs> when the ball is fouled back right to the screen, screen or not, you always think that the screen isn't there and it's going to nail you. 2-2, swing and a miss, strike three, inning over. Ohio gets a run, scoring triple. Isaiah Peterson brings in Michael Richardson. We're presented by People's Bank, 4-2 cats after two on Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. At People's Bank, our vision is to be the best community bank in America. We focus on building relationships with our clients and offering cutting edge financial products. 
People's Bank is proud to support the local communities in which we work and live. This is Ashley Brown, People's Bank Vice President and Regional Manager, and we would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The past year and a half, we've all been part of unprecedented times that have been heavy. At Integrated Services for Behavioral Health, we have been here for you throughout the heaviness of the pandemic and will continue to be here for you whenever you need us. Checking in on your behavioral health and well-being is more important than ever. If you feel like you can benefit from home or community-based support, counseling, peer recovery support, and a myriad of other services we offer, please call us at 800-321-8293. We're here for you. Third inning of Bobcat Baseball presented by Union Street Diner online at unionstreetdiner.com. I don't think they ever close. 4-2 Ohio as we go to the third. This is the tough part of the day with the sun setting or beginning to set. It's really hard to see the bulbs on that scoreboard. If you were to just take a look just straight out on the picture from the booth, and you see the setting, the, the sun, well, in the late afternoon and the, the shadows and everything, it, it looks like it would be a 75 degree, 80 degree day. But it's not. Started this thing off in the 40s. First pitch smoked off of Bonkle, rolls to third, bare hand pickup, throw to first late. Scott Makowitz nailed the, the foot of a bunkle and, and then it rolled on over and that nearly was an out. That was, uh, it could have been a, a real dangerous situation, but apparently everybody's all right. Mm. That ball was scalded by uh, Makowitz and he's on it first. Lead off man on for the uh, Second time today for Toledo, and Bonkel trying to flex out, stretch out that uh, right foot, and he'll have a couple of practice throws here. Training staff over, Craig Moore over, just to make sure that the native of California is all right. And on a day like today, I mean, that's never going to feel good anyway, but it's not warm. And so uh, you get hit like that. Mm. So Makowitz on with the uh, infield single. Here's John Cervello. Runner on to start it off for the Rockets in the third. Cervello walked in the first. Hits here now in the third. 4-2 Ohio with the lead. Bonkel uses the extreme right sliver of that pitching mound and the pitch. Change up strike. It's 0 1. Elsewhere in the MAC today, Miami beat Eastern Michigan 11 5. That's the next two weekends for Ohio, both on the road. In Ypsilanti next weekend, in Oxford two weekends from now. 0 1 pitch to Cervello. Low and in, 1 1. Western Michigan hops past Akron 2-1. And there are second games of doubleheaders going on now. That's a sweep of a doubleheader, actually. WMU blanks Akron 12-0. Bouncing ball headed towards left. It's there past the outstretched diving glove of Dolan. Up 90 feet goes Makowitz. So back-to-back -back singles here to start off the third. Here's Garrett Pike, their cleanup hitter. He grounded out the first. So that's two wins for the Broncos today. Kent State and Bowling Green playing the second game of a doubleheader right now. Scoreless in the bottom of the third. 
So here's Garrett Pike. Grounded out to end the first inning. Hits here now in the third with two aboard and nobody out. Squares to bunt, stabs at it, puts it down towards third, gloved by Casper Bauer, throws on the run to first, late. Backhand pickup by Baker. There wasn't much more anybody could do there. That's an infield single, and that's three singles to load the bases. Makowitz to third, Cervello to second, Pike to first. Here's Mason Sykes, and be careful here because... <laughs> He leads their team with seven homers. He would be the absolute worst batter to have up in this situation from a Bobcat perspective. 305 hitters, seven homers, 26 runs batted in. Hit a two-run bomb last night to the left of the batter's eye. Bases loaded, nobody gone here. Ohio on top, 4-2 in the third. Big swing and a miss. He was going for a granny right there and came up empty. It's 0-1. Obviously, he knows he could be a home run hitter, and obviously he knows the bases are loaded, so obviously he was going to swing for the fences on the first opportunity. Wind blowing out to right, 0-1, misses up and away. 1-1 the count. Wind is really whipping now out of the west-southwest. Ballpark faces the northeast and west green in the convo. One and one the count in the pitch. Bouncing ball, weakly hit, left side of the infield. Dolan charges, only play to first. Nice pick up by Kale Baker on the backhand. Nice play. It does bring in a run. It's 4-3, but... Baker saved the out, and he has proven to be very reliable at first. That's a tough hop, too. Makowitz scores. To third goes Cervello. Pike to second. Here's Darren Davis. So RBI 27 for Sykes. Runners on second and third, one gone. That was about belt high on the hop, and he was still in the backhand. This is shot down the line and left, curling foul off the top of the uh, wall that runs from the dugout to the wall. It's 0-1. So if you imagine first baseman on a backhand try, you're, you're coming down up, and he went all the way up to about belt high to secure the out. 0-1, up and away to Davis. He reached down the three base air in the second inning. One and one the count. Four three the score. Rockets have two in scoring position with one gone here in the third in the pitch. Popped foul. Back a home and out of play. It's one and two. Davis wears seven. He the junior from Ann Arbor, Michigan, Skyline High School. I believe that's the high school that's right next to the big house. A lot of people park there for Michigan home games. 1-2 pitch coming. Missed inside, apparently. That was tight. Now, Davis is on the plate, so he, it makes it seem closer than it really is to hitting him or, or being out of the zone. 2-2 two two the count. Davis in the six hole. Rocks the bat. Here it is. Inside out swing to the screen, just above and to the right of the Bobcat dugout. Two and two. So a three spot for Ohio in the first. One in the second. Two for the Rockets in the second. One here in the third, working on more. Bunkle delivers, turned on down the line and right, fair by a foot. It will roll towards the corner. It clears the bases. Cervello and Pike both score on a stand-up double for Darren Davis. 
And the Rockets lead the ball game 5-4. RBI 16 and 17 for the Ann Arbor native, Darren Davis. He smacked the ball to center in the second. It was a three base air. Probably should have been a triple. And here, a two RBI double. Inning continues for Trey Wright, who walked and scored in the second. Time called. Tim Brown out to the mound, Ohio's pitching coach. 5-4 Rockets here with the three spot here in the third. There was activity in the Bobcat bullpen, and Ohio's going to the pen right now. 60-second pause for the pitching change and the situation. The Rockets trailed coming into the third. They lead now in progress in the third. Three in, runner on at second, one gone. 5-4 Toledo. We'll step aside for 60. This is Bobcat Baseball. Let O'Neill Hartman Insurance show you how Grange's strong value and fast claim service delivers league-leading coverage. O'Neill Hartman Insurance will find you a Grange auto policy that balances competitive rates and responsive Grange claim service. O'Neill Hartman Insurance considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call O'Neill Hartman at 740-797-4685 or visit them online at O'NeillHartman.com. You expect world-class primary care from Memorial Health System. It's time to expect more, much more. Our patients now also get free virtual urgent care. So expect our expertise everywhere and answers anytime for free. No one else offers this because we're reinventing primary care. So find out more and expect more today from Memorial Health System. New pitcher into the ballgame for Ohio's Colin Sells. 6'4", 193, senior from Lancaster and Bloom Carroll High School. Colin Sells in there now. 5'4", Toledo. We're in the third. Runner on its second, one gone. Sells, 1-1, one 9 one, ERA. His eighth appearance does have a save, eight and two-thirds innings of work. 14 hits, 12 runs, nine earned, six walks, three strikeouts. Opposition hitting a robust 350 against him. Colin Sells in now after Hudson Bunkle departs in the third. Trey Wright's the batter. That hopped in, throw to third with a runner going, and the tag is late. Feet first slide. And Davis skidded over that bag with Casper Bauer taking the throw. That all appeared to be in slow motion as it hopped in. And then uh, Minzy had to throw to third with the runner going. So now one gone, runner at third. And uh, right at the plate. 1-0 popped up. This is into left. We'll see if it's deep enough. Harbert dances to his left, makes the catch, no throw home. It is now a 6-4 rocket lead. Davis scores without the play. Right flies out to left. RBI number 10 of his season. Here's Caden Konzak. Bases clear, two gone in the third. It is a four-run inning for the Rockets, 6-4 Toledo. Konzak, left-handed hitting left fielder. Grounded out in the second, and he takes a strike here from Colin Sells. It is 0-1. 
So the pen is going to be pressed into duty for the duration of this one today. The righty from Lancaster fires low and inside, skips back to the backstop. One and one the count. So Ohio had to come back down 3-1 and then with the game tied at 5 last night, they'll have to come back today. This is low on Konzak, 2-1. and one. So Ohio rode that momentum, scoring three runs in the first, but the Rockets two in the second, four here in the third. This one outside. Three and one to count on Caden Konzak. He's their eight-hole hitter. Three singles started it off in the inning for the Rockets. Makowitz, Cervello, and Pike. Double for Davis brought in two. Ball four. Inning continues with the two-out walk. Here is Brian Fry. We've got a game's worth of numbers on that scoreboard and then this line score here, and we're just in the third inning. 5-5-0 five, five and oh for UT, 4-5-1 and one for OU. Two gone in the inning, runner at first. I said 5-5-0, five, five and oh, it's... 6-5-0 and oh, with the Rockets on top by two. So it's a game's worth of activity, and we're in the top of the third inning. 0-1 oh on the count. Two gone, runner at first. Colin Sells in for Hudson Bonkel here in the third inning. Tapped foul at the plate. 0-2 oh the count. And this is why the four-game series in the MAC is so tough because a situation like this, you might have bullpen arms take you through one of the early games in the series, and then you still have to cover games three and four. Three-game series starting next year again. This is tapped at the plate foul. 0-2 oh the count. Two gone, runner at first. Ohio down... 6-4. Fry walked and uh, was stranded in the second. 0-2 pitch. Well outside. 1-2 and two the count. Lengthy top of the uh, third inning. Sells straightens up. At the belt in the one-two pitch. Bouncing ball right side of the infield. Past Baker, but backing up Richardson, and he loops the throw to first. It's Arendt, and backing up the play is Minzy. That was with Sells covering. Tough play for Richardson. Two gone, runners on first and second now. So Fry is on. Here's Jaron Williams. Up to second is Konzak. It's ruled an infield single. Ninth batter to bat in the inning, Jaron Williams. First and second, the runners, two gone to the pitch. There's the strike, it's 0-1. This is his third plate appearance again in the third inning. The same thing happened last night. 0-1 oh, on the count. Has an open stance. Back of the right-handed box and the pitch. Low. 1-1. One one. Mm -hmm. 
Five hits in the inning. Four singles and a double. There's been one walk. One and one the count. And the pitch from Sells. Hangs up and in, two and one. 6-4 Rockets were in the third. Williams wears five, sophomore from Archbold. Ohio, Lincoln Trail College transfer. Two on pitch. Strike on a fastball, outside edge. I don't think Williams really liked that. But it's two and two. Two gone, runners on first and second. Minzy hangs the signs. Sells gets the one he wants. Looks at the runner at second. Long look in the 2-2 with the runners going. Misses inside. Throw down to third in time, and the ball is dropped. Casper Bauer had to go out of his glove. Second and third, the runners now on the double steal. And the Rockets can steal some bases now. That's, uh, what, 43 on their year? Payoff pitch, two gone. Check swing, they appeal. He went, strike three. On the appeal, the inning's done. So the strikeout finally ends it, but the Rockets plate four. Presented by Union Street Diner, our new score, Toledo 6, Ohio 4. We go to the bottom of the third next. This is Bobcat Baseball. These days, we're all doing a lot more virtually, which is why at Ohio Health, we've expanded our virtual care options and availability to make it even easier to get safe expert care at home. That includes virtual visits with over a thousand trusted providers in every medical specialty. Learn more about our virtual health options at ohiohealth.com slash virtual health. Let's go Cats. Let's go Labatt Blue Light. When you drink a pristine Canadian Pilsner, you're good at beer. Bobcats fans, grab a Labatt Blue Light and be good at beer. Always enjoy responsibly. Copyright 2021 Labatt USA, Buffalo, New York. All rights reserved. Labatt, registered U.S. trademark of Labatt Brewing Company, LTD. Ohio has some work to do as we go to the bottom of the third. And we'll be here for a while. Mason Minzy leads it off. It's been a while since Connor Brandon's been on the bump. But he's back out there now. The Toledo starter, 3-3, three and three, his eighth start, 4-5-0 ERA coming in. Statistically, the best pitching staff in the MAC. Keeping them afloat. Six runs of support for them. They've got to feel pretty good. Minzy Harbert Finney scheduled. First one to the left-handed hitting catcher is upstairs. It's 1-0. Oh. Nine batters batted for the Rockets in the top of this inning. And they scored four runs. Cats down, two, and the pitch. Tapped foul to the Rocket dugout. 1-1 one one the count. Minzy flew out in the first, brought in a run. Hits here now in the third. Brandon to the belt and the pitch. Sweeps low and inside, two and one. Yeah, into the ball game today, the staff ERA for Toledo was 4-4-2. That misses outside, 3-1 the count on Mason Minzy. And that uh, 
And that'll keep a team blasting off when they have a team batting average of 244. Line drive, center field, base hit. That was hit right on the screws, and that starts off the third inning the right way. Spencer Harbert's the batter now. And he cranked a two-run homer out of here in the first inning. 6-4 Ohio Trails were in the third. By comparison, Ohio's batting average coming into the ball game as a team, 279. Staff ERA at 628. Harbert with the runner at first and the pitch. Breaking ball strike, it's 0-1. That was a no-doubter homer for Harbert in the first. Over the wall and left, over the screen and left. And that screen really doesn't do much because most homers go over that screen. That's fouled back to the screen behind the backstop. It's not high enough. They probably should have built it a little bit higher, but uh, too late now. 0-2 oh the count. Runner at first to start off the inning, and the pitch, low and away. They appeal, he didn't go around. Harvard's RBI total at 19 now. Right on right here with the runner at first. Up and away on the next one. Two and two. Yeah, so if you're coming out to the park, I wouldn't suggest you park into that parking lot that is beyond the left field wall. Just a friendly suggestion. There's a lot of room on the right side. Two, two. That nearly bent back into the zone. Missed inside. Three and two the count. By the body language of the Rocket uh, dugout, they wanted that call and didn't get it. Payoff pitch, runner at first. Nobody gone in the bottom of the third. That's all the way back to the backstop on a wild one. That's ball four. And so the Cats have two aboard. Nobody out here to start off the third inning. Minzy to second. Alex Finney's the batter now. Time called. Rocket pitching coach out to the mound to have a word with Connor Brandon. Game two of the series after Ohio won it last night. On a Mason Minzy walk-off tater off of that scoreboard. Ohio won it 6-5. It's a big series. Need to start piling up some wins if you can after getting swept by Central last weekend. And the Rockets, similar position to where Ohio's at. I mean, everybody's really jockeying for two final spots. I know it's weekend five of MAC play, but... We talked about it last night. Central and Ball State are the class of the conference. And uh, you got to get some wins against like-minded teams who are not Central and Ball State. And Toledo's in the similar position. Meeting done. Alex Finney to the plate. Singled in the first. Infield in at the corners. And the pitch. Takes a strike. He didn't show that he was bunting there. It is 0-1. This is a bunt situation, and we'll see if Finney is asked to do just that. Hasn't tipped his hand yet. He's not bunting in the pitch. Low, one and one. 6-4 Ohio trails were in the third. Still lots of time. And I mean lots of time. To talk about whatever. Here it is from Brandon. Fly ball, center field, has some carry, drifting back on it. Makowitz near the track, makes the head high squeeze one-handed. Throw goes to second, it's going to be late anyway, and it just trickled in on a fly ball to center that moves the runners up. Minzy to third, Harbert to second, fly out Finney, so in essence, 
I mean, it's like a bun. Here's Kale Baker. So two hits last night. He's got four ribbies this year. And you figure he's going to get hot at some point here. He looks very hitterish up there. In the seven hole, Ohio's first baseman. Two in scoring position for him in the pitch. There's a strike. It's 0 1. I mean, he just he looks like a guy that can get hot at the plate. And here's an opportunity to do just that. Had a couple of base hits last night. He plays a good first base. 0 1. Bounces in. 1 and 1 the count. He's got the hair out of the back of that helmet. Looks imposing up there. Gets close to the plate. Taps the plate back of the right-handed box. Circles the bat twice. Raises it up. Two in scoring position in the 1-1 pitch. Big swing. Missed it. One and two. I mean, just by the hair alone, that should raise your batting average at least a couple of points. One and two the count, one gone. Runners on second and third here. Here's a, a chance for Kale Baker, and he takes strike three. Well, must have been looking for something else. Two gone, runners on second and third. It's two strikeouts now. And uh, four on the day for Connor Brandon. And this would be... Impressive for Brandon if he could get out of this. Michael Richardson up now. Singled and scored in the second. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. So, in doling out compliments here, Connor Brandon gave up the single and a walk to start off the inning. Now they're on second and third with two gone. He's got a chance to get out of it with no damage. Richardson wears eight. That's where he's at in the lineup. Where's two batting gloves and the red bat flares this foul. First base side out of play. 0-2 the count. Brandon making his eighth start. Where's 36, sophomore, 6'3", 210. That right arm droops as he looks in for the sign. Hung by right. Gets the one he wants. Comes set up the belt. The 0-2 pitch to Richardson. Fly ball, center field, hit pretty well, but it will stay in the park playable. This is a tough play with the Sun. Makowitz over there and makes the catch. Inning over. So the Toledo starter diffuses the Cats here in the third after a single and a walk. We're done with three, presented by the Union Street Diner. 6-4 Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. Warehouse Tire in Athens is your locally owned and operated auto and truck tire center. At Warehouse Tire, we focus on customer service with a professional staff and a huge inventory of wheels and tires for a variety of applications, including farm and industrial. We feature top brands, including Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal. Warehouse Tire is also a full-service auto service shop. Let us help with all of your under-vehicle maintenance, including brakes, shocks, struts, and alignments. Visit Warehouse Tire on Hebbardsville Road in Athens or online at warehousetireinc.com. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Ohio University Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Fourth inning is presented by GoMart. Go for good times, go for the GoMart. And Marty the GoMart gopher, the hardest working gopher in uh, all of the uh, convenience and gas station game. 
Scott Makowitz leads it off for UT. Makowitz, Cervello, and Pike, 2-3-4, and four, scheduled against Colin Sells for Ohio. As Ohio trails 6-4 as we're in the fourth, this is shot foul, third base side out of play. Congrats to Ball State. They get a win over Oregon, 3-2. Out west in a four-game series against the Ducks, and they waddle past him with that 3-2 win. Next one misses high from Sells. One and one the count. Oregon's 21st ranked in the country. So uh, that's a big win. Makowitz popped out, singled, and scored. Next one drops low. Two and one the count. That's, uh, what, game one of a doubleheader. They'll play the nightcap and then game tomorrow. 2-1, low and away, 3-1. and one. Oregon was where Kent State won their Super Regional in advance of the College World Series. It's amazing to think that was a number of years ago now. 3-1, up and away, ball four. Not the start to an inning that you'd like, leadoff walk. Here's John Cervello. Cervello, three-hole hitter, right-handed hitting right fielder, walked, singled, and scored. Rockets had nine bat in the third. We're in the fourth. Ohio down by two. And the pitch from Sells. Pops the mitt for a strike. It was belt high. Good pitch. It's 0 1. So that's a, another good non conference win. And that will uh, look nice for the Cardinals. Sells for Cervello. Throw to first. Back in time as a runner. Ohio did pick off a runner. All the way back in the first inning. Nine inning ball game or more today. Then a doubleheader tomorrow. Seven and a nine. Sells for Cervello. Runner breaks. Fly ball down the line and right. Curling towards the pen and the pole. It, it's the pen, not the pole. And out of play. It is 0-2. I'll have game one tomorrow and then uh, a valuable student experience in game two tomorrow. Student broadcast will finish up the series. But I'll be back with you from O-Strike Stadium in Ypsilanti, Michigan on Friday at 2 o'clock because that's exactly where you want to be on a Friday at 2 o'clock in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Right down the street from the second best donut in the Mid-American Conference. 0-2 oh, the count here. Heck, I might go to Canada on, uh, what, Wednesday night, Thursday night? A couple of nights now that the uh, border is back open again without testing and all that. It's been a while since I've been to Windsor. 0-2 oh, fouled back to the screen. Nobody gone. We're in the fourth, 6-4 Toledo. Down the road next two weekends. That's a game time change, 2 o'clock. They're having their spring football game at the factory next door um, on Friday night, so they moved the game time up to 2. 0-2, oh, missed inside, 1-2 and two the count. Nobody gone. Top of the fourth, 6-4 Toledo. Both clubs, six hits. Sells, whips the throw over to first, back in time as a runner. Called strike three on the next one from Sells. 
One gone in the frame. That's a strikeout three for Bobcat pitching today. Second for Sells. Here's Garrett Pike, their cleanup hitter. One gone, runner at first, top of the fourth, 6-4, Toledo with the lead. Another throw to first, chases the runner back. Uh, if you're going to the series next weekend, and I know some in front of the booth are, there's a, there's a good barbecue place in downtown Ypsilanti, and there's also a restaurant called Bobcat Bonnie's, which looks pretty good, and just by nature... It's a Bobcat play, so you probably should go there. Fly ball hit deep to right center field. It's in there for a base hit. It rolls to the wall. It's actually just to the right of center. Hitting third, trying to score is Makowitz. Throw is up the line at third. It's 7-4 Toledo now. As Garrett Pike hit it just to the right of straightaway center. I said right center field. It was more straightaway. It is a double for him. RBI number 10 on his season. Makowitz scores. And the Rockets are up by three here in the fourth. Here's Mason Sykes. Sykes grounded out and brought in a run in the third. Rockets on top by three here. They've scored in the last now three innings. Runner at second, one gone. And the pitch that drops low and inside. Well, anyway, four-game series in Ypsilanti next weekend. They uh, call their downtown area Depot Town. A couple of spots to go there. We'll have the time for sure. Here's Sykes and the pitch. Low and away. 2-0 the count. Yeah, Dom's Donuts in Ypsilanti, right on Washtenaw Ave. It is uh, the second best donut in the MAC. We'll have to get that next week. Then an Easter egg hunt at the ballpark. 2-0 pitch coming. Swing and a miss, 2-1 on Mason Sykes. It'll be weekend six of MAC play already next weekend. Two and one the count, one gone. We're in the fourth. Walk, strikeout, double, and here's Sykes. And the pitch. That bounced in, got away from Minzy, and up 90 feet goes Pike. There's one gone in the inning, so they've got options on how they can score their eighth run. Three and one the count. And the pitch. Called strike three. I'm sorry, called strike two. I think that he thought it was strike three on the look. It is strike two, it's three and two. Three and two the count. He took a walk to the dugout. I looked at the scoreboard. Wasn't sure if that was right. Check swing. They appeal. He goes around here. So there you go. There's strike three. Just a little bit early. And a strikeout. The third for Sells. Second of the inning. Runner at third. Two gone. Seven for Rockets. And here is Darren Davis, their third baseman. Doubled and brought in a couple in the third. Hits here now with a runner at third, and changeup is a strike to the left-handed hitter. It's 0-1. So I just called it strike three, one pitch too early, but it turned out to be a strikeout anyway. And the pitch, fouled back. 0-2 the count. But literally, if you've seen about a million college pitches over the course of two decades, you might get a count wrong once in a while, too. 0 oh 2 the count with two gone, a runner at third. And the pitch outside, 1 and 2. So 
7-4 Toledo, we're in the fourth. Run already in. And the pitch. Called, strike three, outside edge. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, three strikeouts in the inning for Colin Sells. Limits the damage to just one run and strands a runner. We're through with three and a half, seven to four Toledo. From the Wren, this is Bobcat Baseball. You got your go-tos, your standbys, even your favorites. But the beefy, cheesy burgers at McDonald's take you back to where it all began. Your bite zero, when you first tasted what a burger should be like. Two perfectly seasoned beef patties stacked with a single slice of melty cheese on a golden bun. Now at McDonald's, get two McDouble burgers for $3. Whatever it is to you, classics are classics for a reason. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. At People's Bank, our vision is to be the best community bank in America. We focus on building relationships with our clients and offering cutting-edge financial products. People's Bank is proud to support the local communities in which we work and live. This is Ashley Brown, People's Bank Vice President and Regional Manager, and we would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Bottom of the fourth is on from the run. 7-7-0 seven, seven for the Rockets. 4-8, I'm sorry, 4-6-1 for Ohio. Nick Dolan leads off the Bobcat fourth. Sacrificed in the second. Hits here now against Connor Brandon. Sky's darkening a bit. There is rain around, and just for fun, it might start raining again. 9-1-2 scheduled here right on right to start off the fourth, and this one way outside off the top of the mid of right and back to the backstop. It's 1-0. Two for the Rockets in the second, four in the third, one in the fourth. And here it is to Dolan. Rope down the line and left in there for a base hit. Fair by about five feet. It rolls near the corner. Rounding first, trying for two, and standing up without a play. And a leadoff double is Nick Dolan. That's back-to-back -back nights of a double for him. So a good start here to the bottom of the fourth inning. Back top side to Isaiah Peterson. He tripled in the second and walked in the first. Hits here now in the fourth. Will seven runs win the game for Toledo? Ohio in battle back mode here in the last of the fourth inning. Seven hits already. And the pitch. That missed up and away to the left-handed hitter. It's 1-0. Oh. One zero -oh pitch. Fly ball, right field, hit well, but it will stay in the park. Cervello back in front of the track, makes the catch, and he fires it back in without a tag at second for Dolan. That was hit a little bit more off the end of the bat. If that was a little bit more barreled up, it would have been on the softball field. Instead, it's out number one. You could just tell from the sound it didn't sound like he got it all the way. Still poked it out to right. And there's one away. Here's A.J. Roush. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Some late movement on it from Connor Brandon. 0-1 oh, the count. Runner on its second. Ohio down by three. Roush doubled in the first, struck out the second, and the 0-1. Low. 1-1 one one the count. Darkening skies overhead. I don't know if we're done with the rain yet, but uh, tomorrow, 60 is the high, and it should be sunny all day. 
One and one the count, one gone, runner at second here. Roush waits in the pitch. Check swing. They say he went. One and two the count. Updated score, bottom of the fifth inning. Kent State leads Bowling Green 4-2, trying to split that doubleheader. It's game three of the series, and Kent State looking for its first win. 1-2 called, strike three. Belt high, inside edge. That's a pitcher's pitch there. There's the strikeout. Two gone, here's Colin Kasperbauer. That's six strikeouts on the day now for Connor Brandon. That's uh, 46 on his season. Two gone runner at second to the pitch. Good one for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Don't want to waste a leadoff double. Casper Bauer, Ohio's best hitter and Top hitter in the league coming into the weekend. 0-1 pitch. Popped it up foul. Third base side. Out of play. 0-1-2 the count. Seven four Rockets here in the bottom of the fourth. Dolan with the double. He's on at second. Casper Bauer has 18 ribbies this year. Fly ball, left center field, coming over Konzak. He's there, makes the head-high squeeze with two hands, and the inning's done. Lead-off double wasted. No runs a hit, no errors, and a man left. We've played four, presented by Gomart. 7-4 Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. If you're traveling to a game, a weekend road trip, or just around town, you need to stop at GoMart. You'll find a GoMart open 24 hours a day right off the interstate or right off Main Street in your local community. You can refuel your ride with quality gasoline and also yourself with popular snacks, drinks, and more. We're making it easy to keep up with your busy schedule by keeping you on the go. GoMart is the proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat football. Go for good times. Jumpstart your day at the Fairfield Inn and Suites in Athens. Enjoy complimentary hot breakfast, then unwind on our beautiful outdoor patio, which includes a gas fire pit and barbecue grill. Conveniently located on East State Street, just a short drive from the Ohio University campus and uptown Athens, the Fairfield Inn and Suites is situated near many shopping and dining venues. At the Fairfield Inn and Suites, you're our number one priority. Call 740-589-5839 to book your next visit to Athens or find us online at fairfieldinn.com. With Kings Harvest playing at the ballpark, we made the fifth inning. 7 4 Toledo. Fifth inning supported by Steak and Shake. Famous for steak burgers, you can take home a sack from Steak and Shake on State Street in Athens, the Strickland family. 7-4 Toledo is we're in the fifth. Colin Sells back out there for the Cats. And the first one misses a little bit away to start off the fifth inning. It is Wright, Konzak, and Fry scheduled 7, 8, and 9 here as the Rockets have exploded out to seven runs, and we're in the fifth inning. Bouncing ball wrapped foul to the right of first. One and one the count. Both teams have left five. One and one the count. And the pitch. Low, it's two and one. You got the smells of the ballpark wafting into the booth for the first time in a while. And the grill's fired up here. And uh, smells like some folks have gone 
to the grill for dinner. 2-1. That's roped to left center. Off the glove of Dolan at short. Trickles into left. Big turn at first. Back to first is right. That was a heck of an effort by Dolan. He climbed the ladder. And uh, it was off the, the top of the glove. Here's Caden Konzak, their left fielder. They've had the leadoff man on in every inning but the second. Runner at first, nobody gone in the fifth, 7-4 Toledo. Skies darkening, and the pitch misses up and away. Be nice just to have a full-on sunny day. We haven't had one of those in like forever. Hopefully the case tomorrow. Want to know the count. Konzak grounded out and walked in the third. Squaring to bunt here. Runner goes. Hit and run on. Bouncing ball to first. Down on the knee. Baker and goes to the bag for the out. So he showed bunt. Pulled it back. But it was right at Kale for out number one. Up to second goes right. Here's Brian Fry. Their nine hole hitting second baseman. Walked and singled here. So a man in scoring position, one gone in the fifth. UT up by three. He squares to bunt, and he got hit. That was inside. I don't know where it hit him, but he was hopping around after he got hit by the pitch. So when he squared to bunt, that was dropping in on him. Now two aboard again for Toledo. Here's Jaron Williams back top of the lineup. This is his fourth plate appearance. One gone, runners on first and second. Right on right here. Williams takes inside. It's 1-0. Oh. News out of Toledo basketball this past week. Ryan Rollins is declared for the NBA draft. 19 points per game, first team all league. 1-0 oh pitch. Low, 2-0. So they were immune from the transfer portal, but uh, Ryan Rollins, one of the top scorers in the MAC, declared for the NBA draft earlier this week. A lot of guys are declaring to go through the process of it. Not sure if they'll stick, though. 2-0, up and in. 3-0 the count. The Rockets were regular season champions in the MAC and uh, then lost to Akron in the semifinals of the MAC tournament after nearly not getting out of the quarterfinals when Central Michigan pushed him again. 3 0, there's a strike, it's 3 and 1. Toledo basketball had 26 wins on the year but fell in the semifinals to Akron by eight and then got a gift home game against Dayton because UD Arena couldn't be used for the first round of the NIT, and they lost by 19. And it wasn't even really that close. 74-55 was that final. Lost to the Flyers in the NIT. 3-1 upstairs. Ball four. Bases loaded again. Right to third. Fry to second. Williams on at first. One gone in the fifth, Toledo up 7-4. Here's Scott Makowitz, popped out in the first, singled and scored in the third, walked and scored in the fourth. Double play would be really nice to get out of the inning. 7-4 Ohio Trails, Makowitz their left-handed hitting center fielder. 
The kick and the pitch from Sells outside. It's 1-0. News this week from turned out to be former Bobcat Mark Sears. He is uh, committed to Alabama. Of course, he's from the state. 1-0 is the strike. 1-1 one one the count. Former Buffalo head coach Nate Oates, head coach for Crimson Tide basketball, and so that appeared to be a good fit. 1-1 one, one low, 2-1 the count. So that's the first of those that entered the transfer portal from Ohio's perspective to uh, full-on commit to their new school. A couple others out there. Two on pitch with the bases loaded outside. Ball three. Three and one the count with one gone. And Ohio down by three. And the Rockets looking for more here with Scott Makowitz at the plate. Has 12 rubies this year, their center fielder. 3-1 pitch. Low, ball four, bases loaded walk, 8-4 Toledo. Right scores. To third is Fry, to second is Williams. Makowitz with the bases loaded walk. That's the second time he's walked today. So RBI 13. And here's their best hitter, John Cervello. Eight four Toledo. They've out hit Ohio eight seven. And the pitch to Cervello is tight. One and zero. Oh. Colin sells pitch count now at fifty six. After Hudson Bunkel went two and a third. He had fifty six pitches thrown. Five hits, six runs, five earned, walked three, struck out one. And uh, I don't know if he was all the way right after he got hit on the foot on a comebacker. And uh, never really was able to, to regather after that. But he stayed in. Time called, meeting on the mound. Now it's broken up. 8-4 Toledo. Looks like it could rain at any second now. Dark gray clouds over the ballpark. 1-0 pitch. Low it in. 2-0. That is a vocal rocket dugout. Sacks packed with rockets. 2-0. Topped up the line at third. Foul. They're cheering everything now. I believe that's Rob Reinstettle, their head coach, in the third base box, and they cheered the fact that he barehanded that foul ball. Two and one the count. Cervello, their three-hole hitter, and the pitch. Big swing and a miss. Climbed the ladder and missed it. Two and two the count. Still time, but down four now. We're in the fifth. Rockets have scored in every inning but the first. Cervello, line drive, right center field, tailing away from Isaiah Peterson, can't get there. One hops the wall, could clear the bases. Two score, Fry and Williams. Here comes Makowitz. There is no throw to the plate. It is a bases clearing three-run double for John Cervello. It is 11-4 Toledo with the four spot here in the fifth inning. Cervello's their best hitter, and their best hitter does what good hitters do. That was tailing away from Peterson in the right center field gap. Time called. Tim Brown out to the mound, Ohio's pitching coach, and we might get a pitching change here as just for fun, it's starting to rain again. Mm. Well, it when it rains, it, it pours sometimes, and right now it literally is raining and pouring. 
four in for the Rockets, one gone to the fifth, 11 for Toledo. Pitching change, we'll pause for 90. We'll pause for 90 seconds, 90 second pause. This is Bobcat Baseball. The road to a championship is built on years of practice and hard work. That's true in basketball and the construction industry. The apprenticeship and upgrade training programs provided by the Athens Area Union Building Trades produces the workforce with the most modern skills and cutting edge knowledge in the industry. The key to success to the Bobcats on the floor is the same as your choice on the work site. The winning move is working with members of the Athens Area Union Building Trades, proud sponsor of Ohio University Basketball. You got your go-tos, your standbys, even your favorites. But the beefy, cheesy burgers at McDonald's take you back to where it all began. Your bite zero, when you first tasted what a burger should be like. Two perfectly seasoned beef patties stacked with a single slice of melty cheese on a golden bun. Now at McDonald's, get two McDouble burgers for $3. Whatever it is to you, classics are classics for a reason. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. At People's Bank, our vision is to be the best community bank in America. We focus on building relationships with our clients and offering cutting-edge financial products. People's Bank is proud to support the local communities in which we work and live. This is Ashley Brown, People's Bank Vice President and Regional Manager, and we would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Top of the fifth inning continues. 11 for Toledo with the lead. Left on left here. New pitcher into the ball games, Adam Beery. Six foot 190, freshman from Ravino, Ohio. And it's a 1 0 count. Left on left here against Garrett Pike, their cleanup hitter. 2 0 the count. Just started raining here. And uh, right when that. Double was hit off the right center field wall. It started pouring. Mm. 2 0 the count. One gone. Runner at second. Beery delivers. Loman away. It's 3 0. Beery making his fourth appearance. 6 2 3 ERA. Four and a third innings of work. Six hits, three runs, all earned, two strikeouts, and a walk. 3-0 pitch. There's a strike. It's 3-1. and one. Uh, Garrett Pike, who singled and doubled and grounded out today. 11-4 Toledo. Two four-run innings. The fifth and the third. And the pitch. Called a strike. Fastball on the outside edge. It's 3-2. and two. I mean, this can't be fun for anybody, but it really can't be fun when you're down 11-4. It's pouring, it's windy, it feels like it's freezing outside because it it really feels like that. Three and two the count. Out hit 9-7. Ohio was up 3-0 after the first. Payoff pitch, fouled back to the screen. Three and two. So the momentum carried over from last night with the three spot in the first. And then Toledo scored two in the second. Ohio would add. It was 4-2 after two. And then it's a 9-0 rocket run. Payoff pitch, up and away, ball four. Here's Mason Sykes. First and second, the runners. One gone only in the fifth. Ohio down 11-4. There have been some long innings here. And this is another one of them. Hmm. Sykes, right-handed hitting first baseman, two strikeouts and a ground out. This is looped to left and caught head high by Harbert. And finally, that's out number two of the inning. Here is Darren Davis. This is the second time that the Rockets have had nine bat in a rack. 
Davis had that three base error, a two RBI double and a strikeout. Two gone in the fifth, four already in, two aboard. Here it is from Beery, and there's a strike and a changeup on the outside edge. It's 0-1. Game two of the series after Ohio won 6-5 and 10 last night. 0-1 coming. Low and away. 1-1 one one to the left-handed hitter. And yet, yeah, credit the Rockets after losing in walk-off fashion last night. Down 3-0 in the first inning today. They battled back on their end. 1-1 one, one coming from Beery instead a bluff nothing towards the runner at second. One one pitch to Darren Davis. Looping line drive center field, hang it up. And Peterson makes the catch, inning over. Rockets score four, they strand two. It's 11 4, presented by Steak and Shake. We go to the bottom of the fifth. This is Bobcat Baseball. Located on 741 East State Street, Steak and Shake is serving up handmade milkshakes fresh pressed steak burgers, and crispy shoestring fries cooked right to order. Kick off your day with our breakfast served until 11 a.m. And don't forget to join us for happy hour drinks and shakes on weekdays from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. Left corner for three, bang! And oh baby, what a first half it's been. In sight, it must be right. We'll see you there at Steak and Shake Athens. If you can dream it, you can do it. Maybe your dream is to have a vacation cabin in the woods. Or maybe your dream is to open up a cat cafe. Uh, who ordered the milk? At Ohio University Credit Union, your dreams are our dreams. And we have the money to lend that will make them a reality. OUCU offers great loan rates, flexible terms, and fast responses on your application. Not a member? You can join. Really, stop by a branch or visit OUCU.org. Equal housing opportunity. Loan subject to credit approval. Federally insured by NCUA. MLS number 433809. Bottom of the fifth inning is on at Bob Wren Stadium. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Jordan Bowes manning the web stream today. Ohio down by seven, 11-4. 11, 9-0 11, for the Rockets, 4-7-1 for Ohio. Connor Brandon back on the mound for UT. Mason Minzie leads it off. Four, five, and six scheduled here. Minzy singled in the third, flew out in the first, hits here now in the fifth. After the Rockets scored four to make it a 9-0 run. You don't talk about runs like that often, but it happens today. All right, here we go on the pitch. Fastball misses inside, 1-0. Wind still blowing out towards right. Eventually, we're going to say that we're done with the rain for today, but I'm not sure we're there yet. 1-0 pitch. Got under it, popped it up, shallow left. Three out to try to get it. Konzak in, can't make the play. Minzy will slide in to second with the double. Konzak came in, Williams out from short, Davis out from third, and it just dropped in. And it's a tough day to be an outfielder on a ball like that. But Ohio needs some breaks now. And another extra base hit for Mason Minzy. That is his 11th double this year. That is 17 extra base hits. 17 of his 26 hits have been of the extra base variety. That is mind-blowing. Here it is for Spencer Harbert. It's a strike. It's 0-1. I mean, two-thirds of your hits when your hit total is mid-20s, which is pretty good, extra base hits, and 11 of them doubles, 
two doubles in the series. 0-1 to Harbert. Missed inside. 1-1 one one the count. Now, Minzy isn't built like your prototypical catcher, but for a catcher to lead the league or thereabouts in doubles, that's pretty impressive too. 1-1 one, one low, 2-1 two the count. Nobody gone, bottom of the fifth, 11-4 Ohio Trails. Harbert hit a two-run homer earlier. He can hit a two-run homer right now. Fly ball headed towards right, shallow. Will stay in the ballpark. Cervello in, makes the catch. One-handed, head high. Back to second on the play goes Mason Minzie. Here's Alex Finney. Finney singled in the first, flew out in the third, hits here now in the fifth. Ohio down by seven. Out hit by one. Brandon brings it home. Seemed to drop down three quarters there, and there's the strike. It's 0-1. Brandon's eighth start of the year for statistically the best pitching staff in the league. They're right around 500 as well. 0-1 pitch. Hit on the ground, foul. Wide a third. Two strikes and nothing on Alex Finney, Ohio's DH. Minzy on its second. Finney waits. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Actually got a little piece of it held on to by right. Here's a strikeout. Brandon's been pretty impressive. Here's Cale Baker. And strikeout seven on pitch 88. There is some activity. I don't know if it's heavy throwing in the Toledo bullpen yet, but there is some tossing going on down there. Here's Kale Baker. First one bounce foul. Right next to Craig Moore in the third base coach's box. It's 0-1. Baker, two strikeouts today. Lead-off double. Ohio had a lead-off double in now back-to-back -back innings. Ohio's had the lead-off man on in every inning today. 0-1, and skates outside. 1-1 one one the count. Peterson walked in the first. Richardson singled in the second. Minzy singled in the third. Double for Dolan in the fourth. Double for Minzy now, and he's on at second. 1-1 one one the count. Connor Brandon for Kale Baker. There's a strike. It's one and two. Brandon is strike away from his eighth strikeout on the day. And uh, again, working around a leadoff man on. One two pitch coming to Kale Baker, Ohio's right handed hitting first baseman. Check swing. He went off the glove of right. Chases that down right of the plate, throws down to first to complete the strikeout. That's eight Ks, and that's the fifth time Ohio gets the leadoff man on in the ballgame, and this time that's uh, a couple innings since Ohio scored. Ohio got three in the first, one in the second. We're done with five, presented by Steak and Shake. 11-4 Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. Located on 741 East State Street, Steak and Shake is serving up handmade milkshakes, fresh pressed steak burgers, and crispy shoestring fries cooked right to order. Kick off your day with our breakfast served until 11 a.m. And don't forget to join us for happy hour drinks and shakes on weekdays from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. Left corner for three, bang! 
And oh, baby, what a first half it's been. Insight, it must be right. We'll see you there at Steak and Shake Athens. We've all seen the tragedies associated with drug activity and impaired driving in our state. This is Trooper Conkler of the High State Highway Patrol's Athens Post. We need everyone's help to keep drugs out of our communities, keep impaired drivers off our roads, and get people to make good decisions when driving. Traffic and community safety is the responsibility of everyone. You can do your part in calling pound 677 to report drug activity and impaired or reckless drivers to law enforcement. Together we can make Ohio a safer place to live and travel. Seven, eight, nine scheduled for Toledo here as we're in the sixth inning now. 11 4 Rockets, 11 9 and 0 for UT, 4 8 and 1 for Ohio. As Beery back on the bump for the Cats. And the first one's a strike, it's 0 1. Bonkel sells Beery and maybe some activity in the Ohio pen coming up. 0-1, bouncing ball right back to him at the top of the mound. Runs halfway, underhand toss. The rest of the way for the first down of the inning. Here's Caden Konzak. The Rockets have had leadoff runners on a bunch here as well. Not this inning, though. There's a strike. It's 0-1. Next one from Beery, low and outside. 1-1 one one the count. Toledo trying to get to 14 wins on the year. Ohio trying to come back to get to win number 13. 1-1, one, one, got under it, and flies it to right center field. Peterson's there, hauls it in for out number two. Here's Brian Fry, their nine-hole hitting second baseman. And we're going to get a pinch hitter. It is Marcus Struther, who last night was their first baseman. So the home plate umpire waves to the press box, and hopefully they wave back. So Struther bats now for the Rockets. Struther is, uh, this can't be updated, right, can it? No, this is... Not updated from yesterday. He came into the ball game one for 11, but he had some success yesterday, I recall. There's a strike. It's one and one. Got to go back into the box score from last night. Struther went one for three, brought in two runs. Line drive that's in the left and fell. One and two the count. Two gone, bases clear, one and two the count. The ever-elusive 1-2-3 inning. That would, uh, if Ohio could get it here, it would be the first. That just missed. 2-2 two and two the count. We're in the sixth, 11-4, Toledo with the lead. There is called strike three. And there's the first one, two, three inning of the ball game. We're presented by Integrated Services for Behavioral Health. Healthy people, strong communities, that's Integrated Services. We're through with five and a half, 11 for Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball.
The past year and a half, we've all been part of unprecedented times that have been heavy. At Integrated Services for Behavioral Health, we have been here for you throughout the heaviness of the pandemic and will continue to be here for you whenever you need us. Checking in on your behavioral health and well-being is more important than ever. If you feel like you can benefit from home or community-based support, counseling, peer recovery support, and a myriad of other services we offer, please call us at 800-321-8293. We're here for you. Bobcat fans, the Hugh White Family of Dealerships is your hometown Athens dealer. And to show our commitment to the community, we're offering free car washes for Ohio University students and faculty, as well as college grad discounts with all of our new brands. But that's not all. We provide free concierge service for faculty. We'll pick up your vehicle and drop it back off after service. Take advantage of our leases in under 200 hours per month. Come visit us on North Columbus Road, less than five minutes from campus or online at visithughwhite.com. And remember, if the deal is right, it must be Hugh White. Michael Richardson leads it on for the Bombcats here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Ohio trails 11-4. 92 pitches for Connor Brandon to this point. Eight strikeouts, two walks. And his 93rd misses inside. It's 1-0 to start off Michael Richardson, who singled and scored in the second, flew out in the third. Good start for Brandon after giving up three runs in the first. Here's a fly ball to shallow left center field. Four fielders out there. The center fielder had it and dropped it. And into second on the play is Michael Richardson. It was Makowitz who came in. It seemed to hit off the palm of his mitt. He was there on a dive back towards the infield. And so on is Richardson. Here's Nick Dolan. I would imagine that'll be called a double. Richardson on. And the pitch to Dolan is a strike. Defensive uh, changes, Sykes goes to third. Davis to second, Struther at first. One and one is the count on Nick Dolan. Leadoff man on for the Bobcats in every inning. One one from Connor Brandon, high. Two and one. It um, was ruled an error. E8 to put Richardson on. Two one. Low. Three and one the count. That was a dive in as four fielders were there. It went off the palm of his mitt. He just uh, didn't secure the out. Three-one pitch. Big swing and a foul tip into the glove of right. Three and two the count. Dolan waits with a runner at second and the pitch. Fly ball, left center field, hit very well, but it will stay in the park. Back goes Makowitz and made the catch. Tagging at second, going to third is uh, Richardson. Here's 
Here's Isaiah Peterson. One gone in the sixth, 11 for Toledo with the lead. Peterson walked, tripled, and flew out. Fifth run, 90 feet away, Ohio down by seven in the pitch. Fly ball, center field, Makowitz in. This should be deep enough. One-handed catch, head high made. The throw is rifled in, cut off, and it would have been late anyway. And it's a sack fly to center for Isaiah Peterson. It's 11-5 now. Here's A.J. Roush. Two gone in the sixth, Ohio down by six. Roush doubled in the first, two strikeouts today. Hits here in the sixth with the bases clear. Bunt put down left of the mound. Going to be a tough play. Third baseman Sykes just has to eat it. Good idea. Infield bunt single. Here's Colin Kasperbauer. Down six with a runner on with 10 outs to play with. There's still time here for sure. Maybe Casper Bauer could get into one here for his second home run of the year. He went deep to right field in Mount Pleasant last weekend. Maybe he could do the same here in Athens with the wind blowing that direction. He's a left-handed hitter. Brandon from the belt, the pitch. Missed living in. Ohio down 11-5. Casper Bauer 0 for 3 today. There's a fly ball. Hit well to right center field. It is playable for Cervello. In front of the track, makes the catch, and the inning's done. No runs, a hit. There was an error and a man left. I'm sorry, one run on one hit. There was an error and a man left. We've played 6, 11, 5 Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. When you order your groceries online with ClickList from Kroger, you can do your shopping anytime, anywhere, like the gym, the office, or your favorite comfy couch. And whether you place your order on your phone, tablet, or computer, it's still your neighborhood Kroger. So you'll find all the fresh choices, low prices, and great deals you love. And you'll save time, too. Try ClickList from Kroger with same-day pickup. Check it out at Kroger.com. Fresh food, low prices at Kroger. These days, we're all doing a lot more virtually, which is why at Ohio Health, we've expanded our virtual care options and availability to make it even easier to get safe expert care at home. That includes virtual visits with over a thousand trusted providers in every medical specialty. Learn more about our virtual health options at ohiohealth.com slash virtual health. Seventh innings on, 11-5 Ohio Trails, 11-9-1 for Toledo, 5-9-1 for the Green and White. Doubleheader tomorrow, seven-inning ball game to start, nine-inning ball game to follow, and this four-game series will come to a conclusion. But Ohio has a chance to come on back here, need to keep things at 11-5. Luke Bohr is the new pitcher now for Ohio. Six foot, 195, redshirt freshman from Perrysburg. Perrysburg High. And Jaron Williams will lead it off. He's the leadoff hitter. Eleven five Toledo. And the pitch hit on the ground first, right at Baker. And he will run to the bag for the out. 
One gone here in the seventh. And this is, uh, if the stat sheet is correct, his first appearance of the year. So you get an out to start it off. Here's Scott Makowitz. There's a strike. It's 0-1. For a redshirt freshman. A one pitch. Bounces in, one and one. From the wind, he brings it home. Low, two and one. Both dugouts leaning on the railings. That's something that you couldn't do in this ballpark until this year. 2-1. Big swing and a miss. 2-2. Two and two. Luke Bohr, B-O-R-E-R. -E From the wind. And the 2-2 pitch home. Called strike three. Here we go. That's got to feel good. And the crowd, and parents, fans, they recognize the first strikeout for Luke Bohr. Two gone, bases clear in the seventh, 11-5 Toledo. Here's a strike. On John Cervello, bouncing ball to second, backhand pick up there. Richardson throws to first in time. That's a one, two, three inning. And how about that for Luke Bohr? That's got to feel real good as he struts back to the dugout. His boys come out to make sure that he feels appreciated, and he should be. A 1-2-3 inning sends us to the stretch. Luke Bohr does good work in the top of the seventh. The Perrysburg product and redshirt freshman. 11-5 Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. Okay, people. We all know what's at stake in this game. Zoe, what's at stake? Our futures. Our futures. And is anything going to keep us from achieving our goal? No way. Because what do we have? The plan. Ohio's 529 plan. Because in this family, how do we play the college savings game? Tax free. And where do we play it? Um, I don't know, Daddy. That's okay, Pumpkin. Want to win at college savings? Go to collegeadvantage.com slash bobcats. Together is a wonderful place to be. That's why CareSource is devoted to keeping you and your family healthy and happy. We promise you not only reliable health care, but also a helping hand with whatever your family needs to succeed. It's why more moms in Ohio choose CareSource for Medicaid than all other plans combined. Things only get better when we work together. And together, there's nothing we can't do. We are one. Learn more at CareSource.com. Day is done for Connor Brandon. New pitcher into the ball game for Toledo is Brennan McCune. Out of Dover, 6'4", 230, and a freshman. Brennan McCune, right-handed reliever, in for the Rockets. McCune making his... Uh, Ninth appearance of the year. He's one and one with a 4.91 ERA. 18 and a third innings of work, 18 hits, 10 earned runs, 12 allowed, 9 walks, 17 strikeouts. Brennan McCune in for Toledo. Bottom of the seventh inning, in a seventh inning that's supported by Qdoba. 
I'm hungry. East State Street in Athens are online at Qdoba.com. Mason Minzy to lead it off. Minzy, Harbert, and Finney scheduled here against Brennan McCune and the Rockets. And the first one is a strike in the outside edge. It's 0-1. Minzy today, fly out, brought in a run, singled and doubled. 0-1 oh to count. And here it is from McCune, wrapped on the ground to first. Good play, Struthers smothered it, flipped to the bag, and they just barely got there with the tap of the sack by McCune for the out. And that's the first time that Ohio hasn't had the leadoff man on in the ballgame. 3-1 to retire Minzy, here's Spencer Harbert. The line on Brandon, he did good work. Gave up the nine hits, but it was a pretty good outing. Eight strikeouts, two walks, five runs, four earned, nine hits. But uh, had good life in 103 pitches in six innings. Swing and a miss, Spencer Harbert, it's 0-1. Ohio has now used four pitchers today. Rockets with two, 0-1 pitch, swing and a miss. 0-2 for Harbert, who uh, sent one over the wall and left. Earlier, Ohio a run in the sixth, one in the second, three in the first. 0 2 bounces in, it's one and two. It is now 39 degrees, and it feels like 33. Yikes. One-two pitch called, strike three. Fastball right down Court Street. Ninth strikeout for Rocket pitching today. Here's Alex Finney. Two gone of the Qdoba seventh, 11-5 Ohio Trails. Might get a pinch hitter here for Finney, and we will. It's Will Sturick. Will Sturick, the pinch hitter. Sturick is 6 for 18, has no homers and two runs batted in. Right-handed pinch hitter. And he foul tips the first one back. It's 0-1. The Rockets with two four-run innings. Four in the third, four in the fifth. 0-1. Fouled off, first base side out of play. 0-2 the count. Both teams with nine hits. The 0-2 coming from McCune. Line drive, right center field, base hit. Over to get it, Cervello cuts it off and rifles it back in. That's a pinch hit single for Will Sturick. Here's Cale Baker. We get a pinch hitter here, too. Harrison Johnson is the pinch hitter. Redshirt freshman from Mason. 6'1", 205. And he hits now with the runner at first. Two gone, last of the seventh. Ohio down 11-5. And uh, Craig Moore trying some things here with uh, some pinch hitters. And the first one drops low. It is 1-0. Johnson has played in six games. He started two. He's one for nine. But he did bring in two runs. Left-handed batter. Two gone, runner at first. 1-0 pitch. Got under it, popped it up. Shallow right center. Out goes Davis. He... Dives, and he dropped the ball. 
and he rifled it back in. Runners on second and third with two gone. That's a tough one on a 30-degree night. The ball dropped in. Now runners on second and third with two away. Here's Michael Richardson. We'll see how that's ruled. It's tough to give errors on place like that. So Sturick with the single. And I would guess, yep, they ruled out a double for Johnson. Fly ball in the right, shallow. This is going to be a tough play. It drops in. Two score, Michael Richardson makes it an 11-7 game. The right fielder, Cervello, didn't have a good read on the ball, and you could tell right away that that'd be trouble, and it dropped in. So a two spot here with the two RBI single to right for Michael Richardson. And all of this with two outs. Eleven seven the score. Here's Nick Dolan. Two gone in the seventh. Ohio down by four and still scrapping. Right on right here. McCune brings it home and drops it low. It's one and oh. So Sturick. And Johnson score, and uh, Ohio still battling here. Want to know the count. Here it is from McCune, up and in, 2-0. and oh. Second multi-run inning for the Cats today, out hitting Toledo 12-9. McCune from the stretch. And the pitch. Called a strike. It's two and one. Good pitch. Fastballed about the knees. Still time here for sure. Got seven outs to work with. Two one pitch from McCune. Called a strike. Breaking ball in there. Another pitcher's pitch. It's two and two. Dolan today, sacrifice, double, and a fly out. Two and two, the count, two gone. Two in, runner at first. We're in the seventh, Ohio down by four. And the pitch, low, three and two. It's just, it's got to be tough when you're down, you know, 11 4, 11 5, when it's just freezing for baseball outside to, to get it. Back heated up again, but Ohio has. Payoff pitch, runner goes, called, strike three. Fastball inside edge, and uh, Dolan was on the way to first. But two runs come in on three hits. No airs in man left. We have played seven. New score presented by Qdoba, 11-7 Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. Jumpstart your day at the Fairfield Inn and Suites in Athens. Enjoy complimentary hot breakfast, then unwind on our beautiful outdoor patio, which includes a gas fire pit and barbecue grill. Conveniently located on East State Street, just a short drive from the Ohio University campus and uptown Athens, the Fairfield Inn and Suites is situated near many shopping and dining venues. At the Fairfield Inn and Suites, you're our number one priority. Call 740-589-5839 to book your next visit to Athens or find us online at fairfieldinn.com. Hi, this is Jared Dean with Dean Heating and Cooling. As your local Tempstar dealer, you can experience superior home comfort with Tempstar game-changing technology. Whether you need a fall tune-up or a midwinter repair call, our expert technicians will make sure your heating system is running at peak performance. Count on Dean Heating and Cooling and Tempstar to keep you cozy all winter long. Find us online at deanheatingandcooling.com and go Cats!
Eighth innings presented by Hugh White. If the deal's right, it must be Hugh White. Bohr back down to the mound for the Bobcats and a new score, 11-7 Ohio Trails. New catcher into the ballgame for Ohio is Wes Lug, 5'11 freshman from Huntersville, North Carolina. Johnson at third, Casper Bauer to first. So there's your defensive changes. DH starts it off for the Rockets. Garrett Pike in the pitch. Got under it and flies it to right. Roush back over to his right. There makes the catch. One pitch, one out here. And Borer looks to be bringing it out of the bullpen. He's faced four batters and has recorded four outs. One gone to the eighth, 11-7 Ohio Trails. Here's Mason Sykes, now at third. He struck out twice, ground out, the fly out. First one's a ball, it's 1-0. One gone, bases clear in the eighth. Ohio down by four. Right on right here. Rockets with nine hits on the day. 1-0 bounces in. 2-0 the count. So it's Harbert, Peterson, and Roush in the outfield left to right. Johnson, Dolan, Richardson, Casper Bauer on the infield left to right. Battery now of Lug and Borer. 2-0, fouled back to the screen. 2-1. Cats down four with six outs to play with. Toledo was down 5-3 last night and tied the game to four uh, extras, and Ohio won at 6-5. 2-1 pitch. Called a strike. Ooh, that was at the letters. And uh, <laughs> Pike took a... Long look back to the home plate umpire. And uh, if it's close, he better be swinging because he's not going to get a benefit of the call after that. Two and two the count. One gone to the eighth. Borer brings it home. No chance that's called a strike. It's in the uh, turf. It's three and two. Three and two the count with one away. Inside, ball four, Sykes walks. Here's Darren Davis, their third baseman. Now, second baseman after the defensive changes. Davis, one for four today, two runs in, brought in two. And the pitch, big swing and a miss. Delayed steal, throw down to second late. Stolen base for Sykes. That is the uh, fourth stolen base today for Toledo. 0-1 the count, runner at second, one gone to the pitch. There's a strike in the outside edge, good pitch, it's 0-2. I don't think there was a lot of communication on the stolen base there. Just kind of happened, and the throw down to second was way late. 0-2 the count, one gone. Ohio down by four. And the pitch from Bohr. Well outside, one and two. Game two of the series. Doubleheader tomorrow to finish it up.
One and two the count with one away. Here it is from Borer outside, two and two. Bohr from the stretch with the runner at second, and here it is. Bounced in. Lug had to block it, three and two. Rockets haven't scored since they put up four on the board in the fifth. Will 11 runs win the game? Bohr from the stretch. Payoff pitch, fouled back over the screen. We'll do it again at three and two. Eighteen combined runs, twenty-one combined hits, two errors. Payoff pitch with a runner at second here in the eighth. Fly ball foul, third base side out of play. From the stretch, it's Bohr. 3-2 pitch coming. Another foul ball over the screen. Quite the battle here with Davis and Bohr. Right on left here with one gone. Bohr trying to put him away. Davis not allowing it. Here it is. Bouncing ball to second. Advances the runner. Richardson throws to Casper Bauer. And there's out number two. So to Bohr's credit, he bared down and got the ground ball to get the out. Here's Trey Wright. Right today, one for two. Two runs scored. He walked, brought in a run. Two gone, runner at third, top of the eighth, 11-7 Toledo. Lug hangs the signs. Bohr from the letters. Bouncing ball to first. There's Casper Bauer. Takes it himself, inning over. Nice job by Mr. Bohr coming in to bear down against the Rockets. We head to the bottom of the gate, 11-7 Toledo. This is Bobcat Baseball. Voice of the Bobcats, Russ Eisenstein, on behalf of David White Services, the largest heating and cooling dealer in Southeast Ohio. They've been the choice of thousands for over 45 years. Offering the most efficient Lennox heat pumps, air conditioners, and furnaces, David White Services can save you money on your heating and cooling bills. Thanks, Russ. I'm David White. And I'm Esther White Thomas, inviting you to call us today to schedule a free estimate for heating and cooling or a new gas fireplace. David White Services is a proud sponsor of Ohio Bobcat Athletics. Bobcat fans, the Hugh White Family of Dealerships is your hometown Athens dealer. And to show our commitment to the community, we're offering free car washes for Ohio University students and faculty, as well as college grad discounts with all of our new brands. But that's not all. We provide free concierge service for faculty. We'll pick up your vehicle and drop it back off after service. Take advantage of our leases at under $200 per month. Come visit us on North Columbus Road, less than five minutes from campus or online at visithughwhite.com. And remember, if the deal is right, it must be Hugh White. Bottom of the eighth inning is on, 11-7. Toledo with the lead, 11-9-1 for UT, 7-12-1 for Ohio. Bobcats trying to come back here to take the second game of the series. McCune still out there for Toledo. Isaiah Peterson to lead it off. Good 
spot of the lineup. Peterson, Roush, and Casper Bauer here with Ohio down by four. So a couple of pinch hitters got it done in the bottom of the seven. We'll see if the guys anchored in the top third of the lineup can get something going here. Roush actually moved up in the lineup. Two spot today. Isaiah one for two with a run scored. Two ribbies and a walk. McCune drops one low. It's one and oh. I mean, there are worse weather days, but it is cold. And for baseball, it just can't be all that fun. 38 degrees feels like 32 right now. 2-0 the count. It could always be worse. It could always be snowing, I guess. But Southeast Ohio, 2-0, fly ball foul. Third base side out of play, it's 2-1. That'd be more of a Toledo thing at the start of April, but... Just not a great weather day, and these teams have had to battle through it. And with that, the offense has been there. You wouldn't really figure it on such a cold day. 2-1. Check swing. Did he go? Yes. Home plate umpire said so, and a jackknifing breaking ball low and in. It's 2-2. Two and two. Ohio is answered back with three unanswered. 2-2 two -two pitch from McCune. Missed outside. Catcher tried to bring it back into the zone. Couldn't. Three and two, the count. Ohio's had the leadoff man on in every inning, but last inning. Bouncing ball to second. There's Davis, throws to first in time. That's back-to-back -back racks without getting the leadoff man on. Here's A.J. Roush. Doubled in the first, two strikeouts, singled in the sixth. Gets here now in the eighth with the bases clear and one gone. Wind still whipping out towards right. Ohio in the green tops, white pants. Rockets in the gold tops, white pants. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch. So on one. Bobcats has struck out 10 times today. What, 12 yesterday? 22 strikeouts for Rocket pitching in the weekend. 0-1. There's a strike. It's 0-2. Belt high on a fastball. One of the top strikeout staffs in the league. The UT Arms. 0-2 pitch coming. Bouncing ball up the third baseline and in the left base hit. Past the diving Sykes, it gets down into the corner. It's a stand-up double for A.J. Roush. His second two-base hit of the day. So a one-out double. Here's Colin Casper Bauer. Get a couple runs here and make it real interesting. Or, heck, get them all the way back here and make it really fun. 13 hits today for the green and white. Casper Bauer, 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. It hasn't happened much where he's 0 for in a game. One gone runner at second. What are the chances that happens? This is fouled back to the top of the screen. It's 0-1. You wouldn't figure it would happen much for the top hitter in the league coming into the weekend. Average right around 400. Was over 400 coming into the weekend. Upper 300s now. 0-1 the count. One gone. Runner at second. Ohio down by four. McCune from the stretch and the pitch. Casper Bauer takes a strike. Outside edge, it's 0-2. So he's going to have to battle back in this at-bat right now. Oh, 0-2 the count, one gone. Base hit makes it 11-8. Homer makes it 11-9. McCune brings it home. This is outside. How about Bowling Green? They've battled back to tie. Game two in the ninth at Kent State at four. 
They're trying to sweep that double header and take the series in three games. Mm. Next one outside, off the middle right, back to the backstop, wild pitch. That was uh, a bit wide. And now it doesn't need to be a base hit to bring in the run. Runner at third. Nice easy single here would do it. Two and two the count. Will he get something good to hit here? There's a lot of room right up the middle of the infield. 2-2 two -two pitch from McCune. Got under it, popped it up, foul over the Bobcat dugout, out of play. Remains at two and two. Game two of the doubleheader in Eugene. How about this? Ball State four, Oregon three. Cardinals already won game one of that doubleheader, three, two. You're up to date. Two and two, the count one going to the pitch. Bouncing ball, weekly hit, going to be a tough play. Up to third, Sykes, bare hand pickup, throws to first way late. It is 11-8 on an infield single. So the wild pitch really mattered as Roush scored. And as mentioned, it'll look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. But it's hard for a hitter like Casper Bauer to go 0 for 5 in a game. And he won't because he just got on right there. Time call Toledo's pitching coach out to the mound. They're starting to get some activity going in their bullpen. One gone, Ohio down by three. That is four unanswered after Ohio trailed 11-4. Wes Lug is the batter now. So this will be the first time that, that he's at the plate today. Now this was Mason Minzy, and uh, with the way he's been swinging the bat, well, sure, you'd like him up there, but we'll see what Lug can do. Got to get guys in. And uh, here's an opportunity. This for Lug will be his first plate appearance this year. Runner at first, one gone in the eighth, and the first one's low from McCune. That's if the stat sheet is correct, and hopefully it is. I don't see his uh, name on there for a plate appearance prior. Want to know the count? One gone, runner at first, Ohio down by three, still scratching and clawing. That's low for McCune, it's 2-0. Oh. Now this can't be easy either. You are in a cold dugout for the bulk of the game. You come in as a defensive replacement, and then you grab a bat in anger. 2-0 oh pitch coming from McCune with runner at first. There's a strike at the knees inside edge. It's 2-1. Lug has a sturdy lower half. Open stance. Silver bat, two white batting gloves, and the 2-1. That missed inside. 3-1 the count. Spencer Harbert's on deck. He's already gone deep today. The wind is not as hefty as it was earlier, but it's still blowing out. 3-1 the count. Lug waits. McCune nods yes, brings it home. Strike called. Inside edge. He tossed the bat away. He, he really fired the bat away. Harbert picks it up, hands it off to Wes, who gets back into the box. Three and two the count. Double for Roush. Wild pitch. Single Casper Bauer. He's on it first. 3-2, inside out swing, that just gets into right, past the diving Struther, 
first and second, the runners. That was in slow motion too on the inside out swing. Struther dove to his right and couldn't catch it. It just trickled into the outfield. It's a base hit for Lug and the tying runner is at the plate now. It is Spencer Harbert. Two run shot in the first, walked in the third, flew out in the fifth, struck out in the seventh. Bats here now on a 30 degree night in Athens. Ohio heating up late. After a 9-0 run for the Rockets, Cats on a 4-0 run here. Bottom of the eighth inning, one gone. Runners on first and second, time called. Right, the catcher out to the mound. That is 15 hits on the day for Ohio. 19 combined runs, 24 combined hits. And two combined errors. There is activity in the Rocket bullpen. Whatever happens here, this, this is admirable for sure. Ohio was down 11-4 and just didn't seem to be their day. But to their credit, they have battled back here to be in a situation when you've got the tying runner at the plate. And time called again, we're going to get a pitching change. That meeting on the mound was just to buy time. It's something that happens in baseball for sure. It's just never fun on a 30 degree day. Time called for the pitching change. Here's the situation. Ohio's runners on first and second, one gone, run in in the bottom of the eighth. 11-8 Toledo, pitching change now, 60 second pause. We'll tell you about the new rocket arm after this. This is Bobcat Baseball. Get your ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer here. Even though you can't go to the game, doesn't mean the game can't be brought to you now, hip. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. That's BudLight.com slash delivery. Give me two bagos. Coming at you. It's a little short. Ow. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to walk them over to you. Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy response playing Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer, and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Plan your next visit to stand up and cheer for your Ohio Bobcats in Athens County, Ohio. Visit AthensOhio.com, the best resource for where to eat, where to stay, where to shop, and where to play. Athens County is home to countless trails and outdoor activities. Enjoy mountain biking, kayaking, rock climbing, and hiking. Find your own adventure. Cruise the Hawk Hawking Adena Bikeway. Mountain bike the Bailey's Trail System. Hike trails less traveled at Stroud's Run State Park. Or ride nine thrilling motorcycle routes on Ohio's Windy Nine. We can't wait to see you in Athens County, Ohio. New pitcher into the ball game for the Rockets. 48, Kyle Pajasic out of uh, Michigan. 6'1", 180 and a sophomore. Grand Blank, Michigan in there now for the Rockets. Kyle Pajasic, right-handed pitcher. That is P-I-J-A-S-Z-E-K. Three games this year, five and two-thirds innings of work. A run earned, four hits, four walks, four strikeouts. Had a scoreless inning at Western Michigan. Struck out two in two and two-thirds against Miami. Spencer Harbert's the batter. One gone, bottom of the eighth, run in. Runners on first and second. A Harbert homer ties the game. It would be a second round tripper of this contest. He blasted one in the first. Can he do it here in the eighth to tie the game? Bajasic from the stretch and the pitch. Bouncing ball left side of the infield, guides the third baseman to the bag and the throw to first in time. It's a double play, wow. Sykes was guided there by the ball. There wouldn't have been a whole lot of chances for a double play, but it guided him right to the pillow, and he tapped on it and fired a first for the out, and that's just how baseball works sometimes. A double play ends the inning. Ohio scores one, and they're done in the eighth. 11-8 as we go to the ninth. This is Bobcat Baseball.
We've all seen the tragedies associated with drug activity and impaired driving in our state. This is Trooper Conkler of the High State Highway Patrol's Athens Post. We need everyone's help to keep drugs out of our communities, keep impaired drivers off our roads, and get people to make good decisions when driving. Traffic and community safety is the responsibility of everyone. You can do your part in calling pound 677 to report drug activity and impaired or reckless drivers to law enforcement. Together we can make Ohio a safer place to live and travel. Let O'Neill Hartman Insurance show you how Grange's strong value and fast claim service delivers league-leading coverage. O'Neill Hartman Insurance will find you a Grange auto policy that balances competitive rates and responsive Grange claim service. O'Neill Hartman Insurance considers Grange their go-to company for their combination of great value and outstanding claim service. Call O'Neill Hartman at 740-797-4685 or visit them online at O'NeillHartman.com. Baseball's an amazing game on the positive and negative side for a ball club. It's really amazing. Ohio had the tying runner at the plate. Toledo has a chance to get out of the inning, and they did on a bouncing ball that was right to third and a 5-3 double play end of the rack. That's baseball. can happen for you, can happen against you, and we roll to the ninth with the Rockets on top, 11-8. Caden Konzak to lead it off. Borer back out there for the green and white. We're in the ninth, and Ohio's down 11-8. Konzak, left-handed hitter, bouncing ball right back to him. And an underhand flip to first. That was as calm as you like on the top of the mound. That was right back to him, about chest high, and on the follow-through, he was able to glove it no problem. I wonder what the heart rate's like on a play like that to measure a little bit of a trot over to first and flip it the rest of the way. Good play. Here's Marcus Struther, and he takes a strike. It's 0-1. Ohio might have found something with Bohr here out of the pen. 0-1 the count. One gone to the ninth. Ohio down 11-8. From the wind, compact delivery, brings it home and plunked him on the left shoulder. Struther hit by the pitch. Back top side now. Jaron Williams. Williams one for four today. Walked, struck out. Rockets have left eight on. Ohio stranded nine. One gone in the ninth. Toledo on top by three. Squared a bunt, pulled it back, took it low. 1-0. Borer from the stretch. Brings it home. Fly ball foul. First base side out of play. It's all very compact. He, he comes set at the letters. And there's... Not a lot of wasted movement there. Just brings it on home. Everything's pretty much in a very tight rectangle. One and one the count. One gone. Runner at first. And the leadoff hitter in their lineup is Williams. They have four stolen bases today. Sykes, Davis, Konzak, Fry. Struther on at first. Double play would be nice. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball pops the mitt of Lug. 1-2 and two the count. Activity in Ohio's pen, too. 11-8 the score in the ninth. 1-2 pitch coming. After a long pause, low. 2-2. Two that arm slot, it, it's not extended out wide. It's all very compact. Two and two the count. 
Ohio's used four pitchers today. Bonkel sells Beery, now Bohr, 2-2, two -two. called, strike three. And Lug brought it back into the zone. I'm not sure that was a strike, but Lug yanked it back in. Two gone, runner at first. In the ninth, the strikeout for Bohr. Scott Makowitz bats now. Thirty-three pitches for Bohr. And he's been good. The pitch. Zings it low, apparently. It's one and zero. Oh. Makowitz, one for three, three runs scored, two walks and a strikeout. He's been Pretty active, active in the field too. Two gone, runner at first, Ohio down three. And the pitch, missed inside with the runner going, throw down to second, and they got him. With Dolan taking the throw, Lug bounced it in. It, it wasn't there on a fly, but there was enough speed on it to get it there for the tag applied. And they get Struther. Inning done. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Ohio trails 11-8. Bobcat baseball in the ninth inning is supported by CareSource. This is Bobcat baseball. When you order your groceries online with ClickList from Kroger, you can do your shopping anytime, anywhere, like the gym, the office, or your favorite comfy couch. And whether you place your order on your phone, tablet, or computer, it's still your neighborhood Kroger. So you'll find all the fresh choices, low prices, and great deals you love. And you'll save time, too. Try ClickList from Kroger with same-day pickup. Check it out at Kroger.com. Fresh food, low prices at Kroger. Together is a wonderful place to be. That's why CareSource is devoted to keeping you and your family healthy and happy. We promise you not only reliable health care, but also a helping hand with whatever your family needs to succeed. It's why more moms in Ohio choose CareSource for Medicaid than all other plans combined. Things only get better when we work together. And together, there's nothing we can't do. We are one. Learn more at CareSource.com. Bottom of the ninth inning is on in Athens. Toledo 11, Ohio 8. Will Sturick leads it off. It is Sturick, Harrison Johnson, and Michael Richardson scheduled. Kyle Pajasic still out there for the Rockets, and the first one misses high. It is 1-0. Oh. Pajasic from the wind, the 1-0 pitch, high, ball two. Pajasic doesn't have a save this year. He is 0-1. His fourth appearance, 2-0 pitch coming. Sturick takes inside. It's 3-0. There are a couple of guys still down there in that rocket bullpen. So if this gets a little difficult, they'll go there again. 3-0 to Will Sturick. High ball four. Four pitch walk to start the bottom of the ninth. Harrison Johnson's the batter now. He was a pinch hitter. He got on board earlier. Johnson, the redshirt freshman from Mason. 11-8 Toledo. Ohio won at 6-5 in extras last night. And the pitch. There's the first strike of the inning. Dropped in a breaking ball. It's 0-1. In fact, it took just two pitches in the bottom of the 10th for Mason Minzy to hit one off the scoreboard to win it. 0-1 the count. Runner at first. And the pitch to Johnson. 
Loops it foul down the line and left. 0-2. Ohio is down 11-4. The Rockets scored two in the second, four in the third, one in the fourth, four in the fifth. And Ohio just is clawed back into this thing, down three, and had the tying runner at the plate an inning ago. 0-2 pitch, line drive, center field, base hit. Stopping at second is Sturick, tying runner to the plate. It's Michael Richardson. Well, back-to-back -back racks where the tying runner has come to the plate. And Richardson today is two for four. He scored two runs. He's brought in two. And these are two similar teams when it comes to where they, they sit in the MAC currently. And uh, two close competitive games, two different games for sure, but competitive nonetheless. Pajasic off that rubber. Richardson back into the box. Ohio down three with Richardson up. And the pitch. Fastball strike. Pumped it in there. Owen won the count. Rockets had good starting pitching today from Brandon McCune and now Pajasic. Owen won the count. Johnson at first, Sturick at second. 0 1, tapped foul. It's 0 and 2. 16 hits for Ohio. Out hitting them by seven. Outscored by three. 0 and 2 the count. Richardson waits. Here it is from Pajasic. Called, strike three. Fastball inside edge. Richardson didn't like the call, but that was on the inside part of the zone, and that's a pitcher's pitch there. There's not much he really could have done with that. With a close stance and a pitch on the inside corner, that's hard. And that was a good pitch from Pajasic. One gone. Runners on first and second here. Here's Nick Dolan. Dolan today, one for three. He's struck out, and the pitch sweeps low and outside. 1-0. Oh. Two aboard here to start off the ninth. Ohio down 11-8. Led 3-0 to start, 4-2 after two. Pajasic from the stretch, and the pitch sweeps low and outside again. Looked like Dolan was ready to fire on it. Thought better. 2-0 the count. Top of the lineup coming up next. Peterson, Roush, Casper Bauer. 2-0 the count. Can this thing get really interesting? 2-0 from Pajasic. Drops in a strike. Fastball 2-1. I think he was thinking, can he sneak a fastball past him on a 2-0 count? He did, and he was betting on the fact that Richardson was taking. 2-1 the count. I'm sorry, that Dolan was taking, and he was. 2-1 the count. Up and in. 3-1. Well, this is already interesting, but can it get really interesting now? Ohio down by three. Sturick at second, Johnson at first, Dolan really close to that plate on the right-hand side, back of the box. He's very calm as he waits. Pajasic from the stretch, 3-1 pitch, inside ball four, bases loaded. It is officially really interesting now. If you're a Rocket fan, you're pacing. If you're a Bobcat fan, you're pacing too. There's a whole lot of pacing going on. 
Isaiah Peterson to the plate. A grand slam wins the game. Ohio's down 11-8, bases loaded, one gone in the ninth. They won it on a homer last night. They could win it on the biggest homer you can have tonight, right now. Isaiah Peterson, one for three tonight. The first one, low. It's 1-0. Oh. The sacks are packed with cats here in the ninth. And at 11-4, it didn't seem like this thing would be all that possible to be in this type of situation. 1-0 oh, the count, one gone. Bases loaded. Pajasic for Isaiah Peterson. Fly ball, down the line and left, curling, curling, foul. And a collective awe oh, from the crowd. That was foul by a foot. It would have uh, it would have made things really, really, really interesting if it dropped in there. But it was foul. One and one to count. Isaiah Peterson. Ohio's sturdy center fielder backs out of the box now. The Lincoln, Nebraska native back into the box. Bases loaded, one gone, bottom of the ninth. Pajasic for him, high, two and one. This is the amazing thing about baseball and sports in general. You've got two of your best hitters from 900 or 1,000 miles away from where they go to school. Casper Bowers from Sioux City. Isaiah Peterson from Lincoln. Trying to do it in Athens in the ninth. 2-1. Oh, there's a strike in the outside edge. That is a gutsy pitch from Pajasic, and he did fire it in there. It's 2-2. Two and two. But it takes all kinds of folks from all kinds of places to come together. If you're five miles away from the ballpark or a thousand. Two and two the count. One gone, bases loaded, bottom of the ninth. Ohio down 11-8 in the pitch. Upstairs, three and two. It's gone full. A bases loaded walk makes it 11-9. Who's going to make a play here? Will it be Pajasic and his defense, or it will be Peterson and the Cats? Sturick at third, Johnson at second, Dolan at first. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Tip your cap. Pajasic made the pitch. That was best on best. And at that time, Pajasic got the better of Peterson's best. Two gone, bottom of the ninth, bases loaded. And A.J. Roush is the batter. He, he took the weight up with him to the plate. He had to toss it back over after he got in the box. Can't really hit with that. Roush today, three for five. He scored two runs. That one drops a little bit away. Want to know the count. It was 11-4 at one point. Ohio really close here. Two gone, 1-0 pitch. Fly ball to right, on the run, on the run, on the run, caught. Game over. Cervello came over and made the catch, and the Rockets make the plays and the pitches to win the game. Good ball game, though. 11-8, Ohio loses. Cats strand three in the ninth. Line score in the contest for Toledo. 11 runs, 10 hits, and an error. For Ohio, 8 runs, 16 hits, no errors. Rockets win it 11-8. Bobcat baseball presented by McDonald's. People's Bank, Union Street Diner, Gomart, Steak and Shake, Integrated Services, Qdoba, Q White, and CareSource. Ohio loses 11-8 to Toledo. Doubleheader tomorrow, seven-inning contest at one. Nightcap, a nine-inning contest. I'll be with you for game one. Student broadcast game two.
Rockets win it 11-8. Jordan Bowes, our producer, director, and engineer in the booth to my right. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Thanks for joining me for Bobcat Baseball. Good night from Athens. Ohio loses 11-8 to Toledo. Talk to you tomorrow for two.